Hello there, welcome beautiful stars. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate your presence here so very much. Hope you're doing well. Thank you guys so much for all of your awesome comments, support, love on recent videos. It is so, so appreciated. Um, so today's video is what are your person's current intentions towards you at the moment you're finding this video? And for most of you, I'm sure this will be a romantic interest, but you are very welcome to watch it for a platonic um, relationship as well. Just drop anything that wouldn't be relevant in your situation, and that goes for or anything you're watching um, for any reading really just always leave out anything that doesn't seem to apply to you um, and then I'm going to do something a little different today where I will just do a general advice messages reading um, for each pile as well so you guys um, can uh, skip to another uh, number if you want to so you can pick let's say number one for your um, intentions reading and then say you feel drawn to number three for your general messages reading you can do that you can stay on the same one or you can just skip the general part as well of course um, so before we go into picking the piles i did want to show you guys this package i got recently from switzerland so i'm going to clear this stuff out of the way be right back so I wanted to show you guys what's in this package from Bow Life in Switzerland and Bow Life is Vanessa Sumaina's brand. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen her channel. She has a very, very cool, very beautiful um, tarot channel here on YouTube. And what is in here is the Gentle Heart Tarot. So Bow Life was kind enough to send this to the channel here. So I'm going to be using this for the second part of the reading for general advice. And it is a beautiful deck. Let's see. So I'm super happy to have this deck now as part of the channel. So um, I believe Vanessa... Um, wrote the guidebook for the deck. I read through some of the guidebook. It's really cool. And um, then I think she got someone to do the art, but I just really love it. Um, it's it's mostly traditional tarot images, but it's a little bit of a different spin on it. So just absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much to Bow Life for sending this. And they did give us a um, discount code for their site. So um, they sell decks like this on their site, like all independently made decks by Vanessa. Um, she has like a new Oracle deck out that looks incredible. And I think she sells crystals as well. And I think also um, a Learn Tarot course. So that's pretty cool. So I will definitely link the shop below. I am an affiliate there. So if you guys do decide to buy anything there, then I do get a small percentage of the sale just to disclose that. All right. So let's go back into choosing your readings. So I am very much looking forward to doing these readings today for you guys. All right. Be right back. So here are your four readings to choose from today. Just go with whatever you feel drawn to the most, either the card, the stone, the number of the pile, the timestamp. So number one is this rider card with the blue heart. Number two is the letter with the green frog. Number three is the well, the wishing well, with the blue elephant. And number four is the key with the scythe. Two cards came out for this reading. And the green heart. All right, so go ahead and pause the video. If you would like to take your time in choosing, I'll give you some time to do that. And then I will see you at your reading. The timestamps are below in the description and the pinned comment. Thank you so much. Hey there, number one. Thanks for being here. You guys chose this rider card, the rainbow rider card, I like to call it, um, with the blue heart. So we're going to be taking a look at what are your person of interest, current intentions towards you, the person on your mind and heart. And this reading is good for whenever you're finding it, since it's meant to be a timeless reading. 
Also, please just take what you feel is for you and feel free to reject anything that feels wrong, totally off for you. It's likely meant for someone else, so don't sweat it. All right, just use these readings as something beneficial for you. Okay, so, wow, there's a lot of cards that are wanting to pop out already, so I feel like there's could be some excited, nervous energy on this pile. So let's look at your person's intentions, and then, like I said in the intro, there will be a general advice, general me messages section at the end of this reading as well. Okay, so your person's current intentions towards you, number one, what are they? What do they look like? We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups. We have Judgment. We have the Five of Swords. And then we have the Page of Swords. I'm feeling like this person is starting to see things more from your perspective. We have the King of Swords as well. So I do feel for a lot of you, there was some kind of separation here or like a misunderstanding or something. Um, I feel like this person, for some of you, maybe tried to take some time away or just tried to evade a situation is what I'm feeling here. But we have judgment in the center of the reading. So I feel like they are starting to realize um, maybe their part in something or they're seeing the situation in a a different light they're seeing you in a different light we have the queen of cups here so i feel like that could represent you and um what they're seeing about you is just maybe what good intentions you have always had toward them how loving you've been toward them and the ten of wands to me this is feeling like they're like i can't escape this i need to see this i need to understand this now so it's almost like they're doing a wait and see kind of thing here with the page of swords i feel like they might be letting um you come to them or speak to them because I feel like this person is a little bit stubborn. Um, like where they will even, it's like they don't like to admit something. I feel like they're seeing something. They're seeing like their part in something, but they're not like admitting it. They're not ready to admit it. So let's see here. I'm going to get, what is their, I'm going to get one card for just, what is their truest intention here with you? What's going on with them? We have the Four of Swords, time for non-action. So to me, this feels like I just want peace. So also, this is silence. This is time to meditate. Just try to figure out what's going on. We have take a break. So if you guys are in a pretty freaking good place with your person right now, this is probably not your pile. This is definitely seems to be for those of you where there has been some kind of falling out or misunderstanding or obstacles that came between you two that they're str trying to like they're tr kind of struggling to figure out. Um, we do have Ace of Coins new beginning on the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, there could there could be a new opportunity brewing here I mean with I, I feel like judgment does can bring some good things in for sure and with the ten of wands here they are starting to feel very responsible for maybe for you for like um, do, doing something to help you or take care of you so they're, they're they're starting to feel like I don't know if I did my part enough or I need to give more do more to for pile one but right now I just feel like they're just trying to like take it easy and I don't feel like they want to come in like and being all like here I am. <laughs> so I, I kind of get like they're just waiting. It's like a wait and see time for them. Um, and here is walking away. Yeah, I, I do feel like they're trying to like just take their space right now. Departure journey movement. Um, also for some of you, you guys, I do feel like they could be being led away by the divine like if you guys feel like um it's best for you for you guys to be a part like it's not really going to work out i do feel like um the divine is kind of giving you space for something else to come in for you or for time for you guys to focus on something to um either for uh, like a new relationship to come in or just time for you guys to focus on building your career your your success your um doing something for your health anything along those lines just self-improvement, life, general life improvement time. And here is foundation and achievements. This is the four of wands here. So with the rainbow here, we have another rainbow. Wow, nice. So I feel like this is uh, just like what I was talking about there. It, this is the divine promise of to you of stability being restored. Um, I feel like this is a break in the action for you guys. So I want to see just what we're dealing with here. For most of you watching, 
are you being led to someone else or something else or for now or um is this just a temporary break here i'm just curious all right, we have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel for most of you watching, um, this this is something that can still be worked on and worked out. Because I feel like this person, you're you're willing to do your part here, especially if they're seeing you as the Queen of Cups. You know, your emotions are in this, your heart is in this. And um, I feel like they're coming around to see like, hey, I need to do better. I need to do my part. So I feel like with the Page of Swords here, they're just kind of watching, waiting, trying to learn, trying to understand you better. Because I feel like there was a lot of misunderstandings here. But I feel like they need this time apart to see, to see the light that things can um, work in a different way. And I feel like it's going to give you both space to just have some breathing room and um, to, to like both transform. So that way this can work out. Because I've definitely seen that before where maybe, you know, things just really went badly with the five of swords and that's like really sticking to them. But then you spend some time apart and um, you don't necessarily have to go like all no communication or whatever. And then you both like are able to just decompress and then approach things from just a much more mature way. There can definitely be a rebirth in that way. And then we have Mercury communication. So speaking of communication, um, it looks like this person does want to have a conversation with you eventually. They want to have, they really want to work on like better communication with you because I feel like the communication got pretty bad here with the Five of Swords. Um, so it's really good for you guys to have some of that silence or lesser communication for a bit. Um, the Rider in this deck is about communication and I, I think like good news, it's a pretty positive card. Card. they might be waiting to until they can like share something positive with you maybe they're waiting on some good news okay and then we have commitment all right interesting we have communication and commitment so i feel like there is a deepening of commitment here to you in this um time apart in this like um like break, whatever you want to call it. Also, if you're watching this when it's released, um, it, Mercury retrograde is going on. So that can often be like a time for people to change their minds, reevaluate things, maybe get back together if that's what you guys are looking for. So the Four of Wands is definitely a coming together card. Six of Pentacles, I see that as like a maybe working together kind of card. Um, and here is possessions, um, belongings, finances, assets and treasures okay so what is this about in this context with commitment and possessions yeah I feel like I'm just feeling like they want to make this like more real with you more grounded here's the page of cups kind of like making you theirs so maybe they felt like you were floating away from them in some way. I, I feel like they, they, they want like more stability and security with you. I feel like some of them were feeling kind of insecure. So that might be something that they I end up like communicating to you is like, um, I feel insecure and um, how can we work on that? Yeah, because I, I feel like they maybe they feel a bit undeserving of you. And sometimes I feel like this causes them to push you away a bit. So let's see what else comes through. Let's get some more details from these tarot cards here. Let's see if we can clear any of this, any more of this up. All right, we have the Two of Pentacles. I feel like this card wants to come out. The Hierophant. Okay, so that's interesting that that is landing right on this commitment card here. Oh, with strength. Hierophant and strength. So. This to me indicates like a strong bond, a strong commitment, you know, something where they really don't want to stray from. So uh, with the two of pentacles here, I feel like they're still like on this edge, like this tipping point, like trying to decide if they're going to go all in or not. Um, I do feel like there is something else in their life that is like dragging at them right now that is like pulling at their energy. And so they haven't been like fully in with you. That might be even something that caused maybe this conflict here as well. Because I do feel like this person maybe has tendencies um, of being selfish, being a little too selfish. But I feel like they're kind of having this time out. It's kind of like they've been sent to their room or something. And I feel like they're trying, they're, they're opening up more to how you feel about things and able to see that better now because they, they are getting that distance and that clarity. In the moment though, sometimes it can be hard for them to open up and see that. 
Okay, and then we have the Seven of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands. And then we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so I feel like this person, another thing that's like complicating things, they, they really seem to like their space. They like their freedom and their space. Um, but I do feel like this is someone who, in their soul though, they really want to have, they really want to settle down with someone. They really do want to be in a commitment. But there is this part of them that's really hard for them to tame. So what else do we need to see about this? Okay, we have the mice. So this is someone who is stressing out about something. I feel like this person could be a lot more stressed out about things than they let on. They could be actually really worried, like, is this going to work out? So with that 10 of wands there, yeah, there, there's like this pressure there. Like they need to do something about this. All right, and then we have this shooting star card, Aries on here, quick action, wish granted. It's almost like this person, like they have this part of them that wants to come in and like sweep you off your feet and just make all your dreams come true. Um, but there's something that's delaying them here with like the seven of pentacles and the nine of wands. This person wants to be all that they can be, but um, there, there is something that's blocking them with that. And it, I just feel like this, this kind of like feeling of some shame or something around that, that they can't be more and do more for you. So sometimes I feel like um, they subconsciously sabotage something because of that feeling of um, like they're just going to mess things up in the future anyway, or they can't be enough for you. Maybe you'd be better off in another situation. So I do feel like this person does want to see you happy. And that's part of what they're wrestling with here is they don't want to be like self they don't want to be like the selfish person holding you back from happiness and here's the eight of swords and the three of swords so i feel like that's kind of confirming what's coming through right now about them not wanting to hold you back from happiness on your end and they're like am i going to be enough for you um am i going to be able to provide enough for you am i going to be able to do enough for you to give you a good life I feel like um, home and family are very important to this person with this four of wands here. Um, and then five of cups, it seemed like it wanted to come out in reverse as well. So let's see here. This person, I feel like, is a lot more emotional than they let on. All right, and here is stop. So they do often like just stop the flow of their emotions um because that king of swords came out at the beginning as well so i feel like a lot of times there there is some fear about going too deep with you um maybe sometimes you guys start getting like emotionally close opening up more and it, it is a bit scary for them um because i feel like there is a lot of fear of loss um or getting really close and then like something happening that splits you guys apart so this, this is something that they haven't released yet that does stop them from moving forward. So I feel like they have been kind of stop and go with you um, where it's like they can't quite make up their mind with how to just go forward with this. All right, so let's get a few more cards here, more Oracle cards. So I feel like ultimately what's stopping them right now, what's keeping them in like their, their more of their hermit mode is um, like, I just can't deal with the pain right now. I feel like they are kind of like mentally numbing themselves because they just don't want to think about um, what could go wrong. Okay. And then here is the fox, the fox and the mice. Okay. So yeah, I feel like you would never know it, like how this person feels because this is something that they don't like to admit to you. This is something that they really keep under wraps. Um, I'm also feeling like some of them are kind of planning a surprise for you as well. Like making one of your wishes come true. Or this could also mean you're going to be surprised at the outcome of um, the situation between you two in a good way. All right, then we have direction, guidance being led and following signs. 
with restriction, block, glitch, limitation, inflexible, and tunnel vision. All right, so I feel like this is coming through with, especially with the rainbows to to say that you guys are being guided through maybe this difficult period here because it, it looks like there are there are difficulties here between you two um, sisters. Some of you guys might have a sister, friend, sibling that you guys can open up to that might be able to help you through this, or maybe they went through a, a similar situation. Um, they could also this person could also have a sister or sibling that is. Uh, our best friend that's really talking to them, helping them through this, helping them get through some of these blocks, or maybe they're even talking to some kind of therapist or counselor. Um, yeah, I do feel like this person just needs a little bit of a nudge because I do feel for a lot of you, this connection is salvageable. They're just a little down in the dumps right now. I feel like they also have um, like the tendency to isolate when they, they're just not feeling their best. Like they really feel like they're not shining right now. Because this person does like to be that like bright, shiny, fun person. It feels like with this um, Knight of Wands that's coming out here. All right. And here's Door to Value. Interesting with this Possessions card. So it feels like there is something like... I feel like this is kind of self-worth here um, in this context, um, but something with their money or their job situation or their obligations is distracting them somehow. So let's just get a clarifying card on that. Some of them could be searching for a new job right now. Here is death or going through the loss of a job or some kind of difficult money situation, some kind of major change in their like possessions or finances. And I, I am getting, for some of you, some embarrassment around that or just like, hey, I don't know what to do right now. That could be why this Ten of Wands is here. And I feel like they are worrying that they might lose you for some reason. And here's exchanging gifts. That's interesting with the um, Six of Pentacles that came up here as well. So, um, yeah, I was getting for some of you that they are planning some kind of pleasant surprise and um, maybe to make something up for you. They might be coming in with like an I'm sorry gift or let's do things better. All right, let's see what else comes through. Maybe get some advice cards here. We'll get some message cards too. All right, your art is important. So if you guys are kind of struggling with things here, um, this card is coming through to maybe look at some kind of art as therapy for yourselves. Whatever thing you like, to, whatever medium you like to create with the most. Whether that's like painting, drawing, music, writing, dancing, everything like that. And here's try again later. So yeah, I'm getting like, um, there is something that's being restructured, reorganized here, giving you guys some space to breathe. I, I feel like this is um, like really golden opportunity, golden time for you to be focusing on something that is important to you. So even if you don't have like some kind of creative thing or art thing. Um, this could mean just whatever. There's something in your life that's very important for you and it's time to spend some more time on that outside of this relationship. And then we have your selflessness is recognized. Yeah, that's the message that came through right here with this queen of cups and judgment. This person, is, it's really weighing on them. They're really feeling um, maybe just how much you've done for them, how much you've given them, how much you have been patient with them and how just like nice you've been with them. And we have you are ready. Okay, and here's the truth. So you are ready to maybe tell this person some kind of truth, hear some kind of truth from them. Get Just get more down to the matter of what is going on between you two because I feel like some of you guys maybe are at some kind of crossroads where you really do need to talk about the future with this person so that way you can get some clarity for your path because you don't want to let anyone hold you back. But I would still give it maybe a little bit of time. We have try again later here with Mercury retrograde and all these like, hey, I need to just, I need some time to deal with some stuff here. So I wouldn't push the issue. And let's get a shadow message and a light message. We have, um, I can't make contact. It's all too hard. Yeah, right now discussion is difficult. So again, if you're watching this when it's released, maybe if you are looking for a time frame of maybe when to talk to 
with this person having a serious conversation again or reach out to them um, maybe after Mercury retrograde is over that would be good of course you don't if you really feel guided to talk sooner or if you guys are in regular communication um, just keep in mind when mercury is retrograde sometimes it can like wires can get crossed communication can be a little difficult um, your light helps me navigate through the darkness towards you yeah i feel like they never forget about you they never just forget about just how like kind and lovely you've been with them okay let's get a love note from them My attraction to you knows no bounds. Okay, cool. So here is um, their attraction coming through now because I feel like this person is kind of down in the dumps at the moment. So they haven't been feeling that fire. You know, they've been dealing with all, just like a lot of stuff. I feel like this person is going through something kind of heavy right now, like a, like a Saturn return type transit. Okay, let's get a few more message cards here. All right, so we have, please listen to my side. So yeah, we have like, um, you're ready to face the truth here as well. So um, yeah, I feel like this person does want to um, just have a more honest conversation with you, wants to open up more about their life, what they're carrying, what their burdens are, because I feel like they haven't quite told you what is weighing on them. Your body gives me so much pleasure. And um, I am not free to pursue what I want. So this is where this kind of like embarrassment is coming from. And on the bottom of the deck, we have I dream about you all the time. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching here. So I'm going to move on to just giving you guys some general advice and messages, just whatever comes through the card. So of course, if you're not interested, I hope I see you soon. But um, if you do want to watch, just keep watching here or maybe you feel drawn to another general advice um, reading. So those timestamps will be linked below if you want to skip over to something else. All right. All right, number one. So let's see what messages come through for you. Just we're looking at whatever comes through as general messages and advice for you at this time. What do you most need to hear? So let's use this beautiful gentle heart tarot. All right, so first card out, we have the Page of Cups. So yeah, I feel like you guys watching, you're definitely the sensitive souls here, especially since Queen of Cups came out in the first part of this reading. And oh, look at that, you guys, the Queen of Cups. Oh my gosh. So I feel like you guys are even more sensitive than you realize. And it's so important for you to take some more time to yourself and just, I feel like, clear your energy, just uh, figure out what is yours and what is not yours. Because a lot of times we can just like absorb others' energies and thoughts and and um, we might actually, underneath it all, we might be a lot happier than we think. So I feel like time alone, time to create, time to just have fun is so important for you guys. We have probably a lot of water signs watching, especially Cancer and Pisces. Um, or a lot of water in your chart. And here is death. Well, here's Scorpio showing up as well. I feel like maybe there's something you guys have really been grieving Let's see. Or just trying hard to let go of something to enter a new phase of your life. I feel like it's been pretty difficult. All right. We got four more cards instead of just two. Here's the three of diamonds, which I believe is the three of pentacles in this deck. And we have the six of cups. So I feel like you guys need to be told that you're really beautiful and you have a very beautiful energy. Um, and here's the two of swords. Yeah. I feel like you guys are really at a crossroads, like trying to follow your heart. I feel like you really want to be like a team player. You always want to contribute as much as possible. And I feel like maybe you're having to like let go of something that um, where you really feel like maybe you're adding a lot of value, making a lot of money or something like that. Make, maybe you're thinking of a new career path, one that's truer to your heart. Um, I'm just hearing like a few of you might be like wanting to go be stay at home parent um, instead of like working a job that was maybe very financially good to you. And then here is the Knight of Crystals, which is the Knight of Wands in this deck. All right, so 
Oh, gosh. Yeah, I feel like um, you guys are going to be getting revved up into enthusiasm and spirit again very soon. As soon as you can just get make a very clear decision on something, I feel like there's something that's very heavy weighing on your heart. And I feel like what could be best for you is, um, well, definitely um, expressing yourself creatively. I feel like that's going to be the number one thing for you, especially music seems to be something good for you. Um, just listening to music you really love, or if you make music, if you sing, um, that'll be very, very good for you. And writing also just writing down what has been on your heart and what you're struggling with will be very helpful to you. Um, and here's the hermit. Yeah. Taking that time for yourself, that is an extra confirmation. So I feel maybe some of you guys are afraid to kind of take some of that downtime, some of that alone time. Here's the three of swords, but there are, there's so much heart healing for you guys to do here. And, um, you're afraid to take that alone time because I feel like you're afraid to, um, to like, that you're never going to be able to like get up and go again, that you're never going to be like maybe um, your same old fun self. But I'm getting like you're becoming someone even better, someone even more fun <laughs> in some ways. Life is going to get a lot more fun for you after you have gone through maybe this it's kind of like a dark depressing or just difficult period for you guys it is going to work out things are going to get better that seems to be a message that comes through a lot on this channel I feel like a lot of people really do need that message um especially in recent times so these cards I pre-shuffled these so it's interesting we have um, death coming out because we also have the coffin so I do feel very much you guys have been struggling to let go of something or maybe you have been dealing with some intense sorrow and grief and then we have the ninth house here with healing so this is saying like it's important for you guys to heal what is that whatever has been heavy on your heart maybe it was something recent or maybe it was something from years ago and um it, that's okay i mean if it's from years ago because sometimes it can be very very hard to work through some stuff but i feel like writing will really help you like journaling um if you guys did like lose someone like had a loss of a loved one like even writing a letter to them could help um or like writing a letter to god or to um whatever like whatever divine powers that you are connected with that could really help you heal so with the ninth house next to healing i feel like once you guys have done this healing that is when the new adventures are going to be uh, beginning that is when you are going to be like really amplified more and shooting more for the stars so I feel like there is a lot of new life like ready and waiting for you. And I feel like a lot of you guys are just not really able to see the path ahead um, just yet. But um, I feel like that that vision for you is kind of like being blocked right now. Um, so that way you will just put your focus right now onto the present moment and what needs to be healed within yourself and giving yourself some space and time to uh, deal with that and like respect that. Okay, let's see. So... Let's see, where are you being the most blessed next? What is your next major blessing? Let's look at these Chinese fortune cards. We have money. All right. So I'm getting like, maybe you guys have even been very blessed with money recently. Like we have like three coins here and three crystals here. I feel like you guys are highly creative. I feel like the message here is like you guys are always going to be able to create money uh, very well. I feel like that is somewhere you are protected in this lifetime is to always have some kind of good source of money coming in for you. Um, or I feel like very soon you're going to be figuring something out with money that just like really lightens your situation. You could be receiving some kind of nice gift. Or new income stream. Let's see what else do you need to know. We have what do you need to release? Wow, this is waning moon here. This card wants to come out as well. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. So this is like the same kind of message to these cards. Like as soon as you take your time um, and don't rush yourself in healing through something in your heart. As soon as you do feel, I feel like some of your vitality will be returning them because I, I do feel like you guys have been weighed down by like maybe really dark and heavy emotions. Some of it yours, some of it just like stuff you've been picking up from others. And as soon as you can release that, you know, again, you don't have to rush yourself. Um, then life will be getting exciting again. There will, there's something like worth living for, something really interesting coming in. And wow, very interesting. <laughs> um we have money and then on the bottom of this deck, we also have prosperity lies ahead. So I feel like there is a lot of messaging here about you guys don't have to worry about your money situation. I mean, of course, you should still pay attention to it, but you don't have to just, like put so much um, 
intense thought energy into it and worry so much about it. I feel like you're taken care of in that department. And then we have Eclipse in Virgo, reorganization, choose duties and responsibilities carefully. Yeah, this could be very much if you guys are just, I feel like you guys are the type to take on too much and taking on others like emotions and emotional responsibilities as well. You're trying to heal everyone is what I'm feeling, um, maybe even unconsciously. So um, I feel like that's why alone time is very important for you to just like take some time, take a break and breathe. Reorganization here, this could mean reorganizing something about your finances, reorganizing your living space, just reorganizing your schedule, just something. Something needs to be rethought. You guys need a very powerful new start in maybe your daily routines in your everyday work. So I do feel a powerful new start is coming in your everyday work here since I got th the message also that some of you guys are going to be moving into more fulfilling work or career for you. So, um, wow. Wow. This is the card I was just looking at, the Six of Cups, and we have the Six of Cups showing up again. Children or childhood? So yeah, I feel like um, a few of you, again, are like coming into this time of um, being a parent, just focusing on that, or just spending more time with your children. Um, a lot of others of you, I feel like um, there's like a refreshing of your emotional energy, and you guys are going to be spending a lot more time doing things you enjoy, like what is truly fulfilling to you, and not just like work, work, work for money, um, or just like having to always just do the same responsibilities over and over again. I feel like there's going to be more joy coming to that. Um, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child, the return of people or romances from your past, romanticizing how things used to be. I'm also getting maybe you guys will be adding some more romance and beauty into your life or that could be some advice here to um, romanticize your life. I think there's some YouTube channels on that where um, they just kind of make everyday living look really really beautiful as like every day is like a gift to enjoy so um maybe some of you guys could figure out a way to just make your um every like maybe you have some mundane stuff that gets really frustrating to you there could be something you could bring in just to make it a little more enjoyable and just keep looking for things that just really make your heart happy bring those into your life allow those into your life you guys are definitely like these hardworking, empathetic people. And then here is Mauve, Mauve, enjoy clear hearing. So I feel like you guys know what to do. I feel like you are uh, receiving pretty clear and accurate guidance on what to do next. This could also mean to bring some more flowers into your environment if you're able to as well. That could really help uplift your energy, clear the energy of the space. Okay, so I also pre-shuffled um, some other cards here from the Saints and Mystics deck. We have Emanuel Swedenborg Spirituality. So in this book, I didn't know who this was. So I guess he's like um, 18th century Swedish scientist, inventor, philosopher, poet, theologian, author, and mystic. So yeah, I feel like you guys um, are like kind of a Jack or Jill of all trades <laughs> where you have, I feel like you're way intelligent. A lot of you are and so I feel like you're just so multi-talented and um, I feel like you guys do kind of downplay just how intelligent and well-rounded you are in many ways so yeah because um, in this book here it says he impressed the royal families of Sweden and other noted inventors of his time so I feel like you guys have this gift you have several gifts that could really impress people in high places or um, not that that matters exactly but I feel like it's just to show you um, just how much you are underestimating yourself you guys are really um, either at a world-class level in something or you could work your way up to that um, very easily if that's what you wanted to do so um, I'm also getting like the message from this card here is to um, like research something I feel like really start reading more into uh, like certain subjects that are just really calling to you just seeking the truth of this world I feel like um, if you guys get some more like logical understanding on something it might help you release some of these emotional blockages some of these very very difficult things you're going through um, just help you work through them help you feel more at peace and more at ease with them um, 
And the little quote here from him says, love consists in desiring to give what is our own to another and feeling his delight as our own. So I feel like the relationship you guys will do the best with is um, someone who delights in your happiness. So I hope you guys have someone like that. Um, if you guys aren't in a relationship, you're looking for one, definitely look for a partner who is happy to see you happy, happy to make you happy who considers your happiness very important. If someone doesn't consider your happiness important, watch out for that. And the other card you guys got is our Lady of Promise. Very nice card. I feel like it's very relevant here. Um, like the promise, of the, the rainbow here, of the promise of something good coming in after some very difficult, um, like letting go of something or grieving, difficult emotions. Um, so this card says, I promise you new life. Whatever you release shall become sacred fertilizer for your new life. I promise that as you trust in me, so that could be in God. This is the Mother Mary deck here. I will guide you to the fulfillment of your heart's destiny. Do not shy away from what I ask of you, from what your heart is asking of you. As you trust in me, I will lead you through fear and doubt from fatigue and struggle into boundless energy of compassion and passionate purpose. So that's what you guys can look forward to is um, a lot more loving um, connections in the future. Um, just feeling like life is gentler and easier for you. Also, let me ignite the passionate fire of your sacred heart so that you can burn with love and bring light to the world. So I do feel like after a very difficult, intense period, you guys are coming into new light, new energy. You're going to be feeling like you have some inner fire again. You're going to be finding some kind of passion that you're enthusiastic about. Maybe you guys already know what this is. So this is definitely like a green light for you guys to be pursuing it. But don't forget to do the work of um, allowing your, or not really so much work that you have to do, but allowing yourself space and time to also heal. Like don't push yourself too much. Um, if if it because you don't want to like crash again so do be careful with your energy energy do manage it well okay i think that's all i have for you guys here thank you guys so much i hope this helped you and um i hope i get to see you soon on another video either one coming up or a past video there are tons of past readings you can watch on this channel playlists are usually linked below um and if you guys like this gentle heart tarot there should be a link below for that as well to Vanessa Sumaina's site where you can buy like crystals, other decks, and she has like other really cool stuff on there as well. Um, anything else? Yeah, any, pretty much any link in the description helps to support the channel here in some way. So, and just you guys being here, liking the videos um, helps so much and I appreciate it so much and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, number two, thanks so much for being here. You guys chose this letter card with the green frog. I hope you guys are doing very well. Let's check out what are your person, your person's intentions towards you, the person on your mind and heart. What are their current intentions for you at the time you're finding this video, whenever that is. And please just take what you feel is for you. Feel free to throw out anything that doesn't seem to be for you. It's likely for someone else. You never have to take anything from any reading that doesn't seem to be right for you. All right, so let's see. Let's get some overall cards here. Also, you guys, there will be a general advice section um, after the intentions reading. So if you guys don't have a person, you're not interested in a love reading or a relationship reading, um, feel free to skip ahead to that if you would like to. All right, so let's see overall. What are your person's intentions towards you? Number two, King of Pentacles. All right, I actually saw him when I was shuffling through the deck, so I feel like that is a very clear message here. The King of Pentacles. This person wants to show up for you. Here's the Tower with the Ace of Swords. Let's get a couple more cards. We have the Moon. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel the first thing I'm getting is restoring balance. This feels maybe like 
somewhat like number one, kind of maybe it will be a, somewhat of a continuation or just a related reading. Um, we also have the nine of wands here. So with the king of pentacles very much making himself known here, I feel like this person like really wants to be part of your life, wants to be there for you no matter what is what I'm feeling. So with the tower, it looks like there was some kind of maybe upset between you two or something that shook things up, something confusing maybe, um, especially with the moon being here. But with the ace of swords between the tower and the moon, I feel like this person really wants to talk something out with you. That could be why we have this letter here. This person wants to have like a long involved conversation with you. I feel like they're very willing to listen to you, really listen to your side of things. This person wants to understand you very much. So I feel like they might even be having some anxiety about this with the eight of swords here, like really feeling like, did I mess something up here? Um, I feel like they're willing to try hard to restore balance to the connection here. I feel like they're just willing to kind of like give you anything, just do anything is what I'm feeling here. Um, I'm just seeing them like just doling out presents or something like that, like something like energy to you. Like, I don't know. It's an interesting thing I'm seeing and feeling just they're willing to just like give you everything they have is what I'm feeling here. So, but I feel like they are holding back until they understand more of what's on your mind and heart as well. So I feel like this person's a little bit skittish right now. So I'm going to get one more card for just what is their primary, primary intention with you right now. Number two, we have the hanged man, a new perspective. So this person's very flexible right now. I feel like they're very, very willing to um, just let you speak your mind, let just hear everything. Like they're just like lay it all out on the table. I'm listening. So to me, this is this card is very much a listening card right now. Definitely their ego um, with the tower here. This could be like their ego really got um, a blow or something where suddenly they're like, you know what? I don't know anything. Um, and please enlighten me. Like they want to be enlightened on something. So let's see. There's a few more Oracle cards. They really just want clarity. Like I almost feel like some of them are like chasing you in a way. Like, please forgive me. Your second chances. So this person wants forgiveness. Um, I feel like most of them feel like they want forgiveness from you. Like, please forgive me for something. Here's far apart. This person feels like maybe there's just too much distance between you two. And they're wanting to like close that gap. So some of them might be trying to travel towards you. Take a little journey towards you if you're um, far apart. Well, this is nice. We have the lovers here. We have harmony. So this person wants harmony, balance, union, love restored in this connection. Or if you guys, maybe you haven't been in a relationship yet. I feel like they want to uh, like bridge that gap. They want to figure out how to make this work. They're like, I'm definitely willing to do my part. All right. And then, we, wow, we have the fourth house roots. So this is home and family. This is related to cancer as well. Family, home, background, com, back, background comfort, cooking, inner world. Um, I feel like this person just wants to like have a home with you. Wants to restore harmony in the home. If you guys are like married or you live together, you have family together. They just want harmony and peace between you two. Maybe a few of you guys are watching for a family member, especially like a father figure. Okay. And then we have fear. So we saw that eight of swords coming up as well. This person, it, they are having a lot of like maybe unfounded fears. And I feel like what's going to help them the most is having some kind of conversation, just really understanding how you feel, just knowing that they haven't just totally messed things up or that you're, maybe they're just like worried about you. Maybe they want to make sure you're doing okay as well. So this could be maybe where you guys didn't have an argument. They're just like worrying about you in general. Um, and then here is connection. So I feel like this person very much wants to stay connected with you, wants to be in contact with you. Um, universal oneness, love, interconnection, and support. So I'm getting this person wants to be there to like always support you. Okay. For, for maybe like a couple of you, I was getting, maybe you're watching for, from someone that, that passed on from the other side and they're just like, I'm still so connected to you. So stay through the fear, you know, get through the fear. It's okay. You know, I'm still here for you. I'm still like, making myself known. That could be why I'm just like really feeling like someone like throwing energy as well. Like I feel like some, this person's really trying to get your attention to let you know everything's okay. And like, they're still there. They're hanging in with you. Okay. So that's a very specific message for maybe a few of you watching, but, um, yeah, for most of you, of course, you'll be watching for someone you currently 
know that is in your life at the moment and they're wanting to work on a harmonious love relationship with you. All right, here's the seven of cups. This person I feel is really having that clarity and that epiphany um, that you are what matters, like having connection, having family, you, having you as part of their family is what matters to them more than anything. So I'm getting for a lot of you, this tower was them maybe having some kind of upsetting or shocking experience, you know, something like, um, like God forbid, like a car accident or something like that, where it just, um, or just like, you know, something where it just something shook them up. It could even be like just some news or something they saw on TV that shook them up and that made them realize what was very important to them. And they're like, I just want to hold you close. Like, I want to make sure things stay good between us. Okay. And then we have the five of swords. Yeah. I feel like they're very fearful of like maybe a storm brewing between you two of messing something up with you. And we have the king of cups. It seems like he was wanting to come up in reverse here. Um, this person, I feel like maybe they're, they're afraid of, um, times in the past that they feel like they've been too selfish or something. And we have the king of pentacles and they're like, I want to do what I can to make that up to you because there have been times when I've been selfish and uncaring. And I feel like there's so much fear that, that has like done damage or to the connection. Um, but I feel like they want to show you, they want to prove to you with actions, with like material, like, you know, like helping you, supporting you, that they want to make material gestures towards you to show you that you mean a lot to them. You mean the world to them. This person is just, I feel like they're racing and like huffing and puffing here with this nine of wands to make sure this will happen. So I feel like they're really willing to go the distance with you to make this happen. Here's five of wands. They're willing to go through the struggle. They're willing to go through the fire and the fight and the difficulties and the obstacles. So yeah, this person wants to be with you, I feel, to make things work with you come hell or high water was what I was just hearing as well. And here's this nine of wands again. Look at all this fire here, all this determination. This person's like, I'm not going to give up. Not going to give up here. Never going to give you up. And here's the hangman. So we have hangman here as well. So I really feel like this person is reflecting a lot on their past and they are scrambling to like become a new person, to change, th to turn things around, to change things in this connection with you. So I'm getting for some of you watching, maybe this was a breakup type situation where they've really seen the light and they're like, like maybe you were kind of making this want to work for a while and they were just kind of being selfish or something. And then maybe you guys walked away or you distanced yourself somehow. And I feel like suddenly now they're just like, oh my gosh, I don't want to lose you. I'm chasing after you. And like, I think that happens often. I think that's a very common thing. Wow. Look at the lovers. So the lovers is here twice. Lovers hasn't been showing up a lot recently. I almost forgot about the card in a way. So this person is definitely into having a full harmonious union with you here with the queen of wands and then we have the ten of pentacles wow look at that so this person i feel like they're like i would be the luckiest person on earth um to be with you like long term or i or if you guys are already together long term i am the luckiest person to be with you queen of swords i understand i really understand why you've been upset at me or i understand your points of view or i just want i feel like um if you guys haven't had arguments or something they're just wanting your direction and they're wanting more of your guidance more of your input because they're like they're kind of like saying like you know better than me you understand better than i do Okay, that I just like hit that lover's card. So I feel like the lover's is very emphasized in this reading that this person just wants you. I feel like really wants you for a lifetime kind of thing. They're like, are we going to be able to make it? Like, I'm willing to do what it takes to make this up to you. Oh, how beautiful. We have the hummingbird showing up. Enjoyment, be present, rapid response. Yeah, I just feel like this person, like they just feel so good around you and they know they have something really amazing with you. So um, I feel that they are willing to go to the next level and that includes going through some kind of like tower moment experiences to be with you wow and then the phoenix wanted to come off the top of the deck as well so death rebirth catalytic heart awakening awakening total transformation so yeah i was just getting like you know this person wants to be with you come hell or high water they want to go through the fire and the flames to be with you 
Very interesting. And we have diamond ring on the bottom of the deck as well. So that could be some of them could be um, shopping for a ring or just wanting to make some kind of commitment, wanting to make something more solid and real, giving you some kind of gift, like maybe some kind of token of their commitment, maybe a promise ring kind of thing. They, I feel like this means that they also really want to be public with this connection if you guys haven't um, made this connection known just yet. I feel like they want to show you off to their family. And here is checkered flag. We have Leo here. Conclusion, outcome, finale. So achievement, feeling relieved. So I almost feel like this person is really hoping that with this nine of wands here that you guys are finally at the finish line. Like you're finally going to do this. You're finally going to um, come together, settle down, figure things out between you two. And we have this beautiful Anamkara symbol here, unconditional love and romance, soulmates, uncommon bond, devoted. So lots of beautiful words on here. Infinite love, best friends. Wow. Nice card here. This is Taurus on this card. So oh, you guys are getting all sorts of really beautiful symbols in this reading. I see so much like um, disruption and interference and frustration and selfishness here, maybe ego stuff going on. But I feel like the light is really prevailing here. Something is working out splendidly here. We have the mystery, just like the moon. Mystery. I'm getting like with this ace of swords, this person wants to solve this mystery. They want to understand you. They want to understand maybe what, what the heck has been going on. I feel like maybe there's been a lot of mysterious things between you two going on and they want to like maybe come together and talk about that, like talk things through with you. I feel like they really want to um, like plumb the depth, depths of your mind for more insight into what, what they've been going through. I feel like they want your spiritual insight on something. And oh, you guys got another beautiful symbol. Here's the lucky clover card in this deck and the clouds. So yeah, here's more like confusion, mystery, obstacles here. So um, this person has really like figured out that you are this like the lucky one. Like they are the lucky one for being with you. Like you are their like their lucky charm. Um, I feel like this has been kind of hidden from them for a while. And that's why they're kind of like chasing after you now. It's like they want more of you. They're like, wait, we have so much unfinished business. There's been so much fears. There th there have been so many fears that have come up in them around this connection. Yeah, look at this. They were lost in the labyrinth, wandering astray, not seeing the way out. And I feel like they had some kind of like shocking experience or just something that really got to them that made them like start finding the way. Maybe they feel like you're the one person they don't feel like you guys had some time apart and they felt like really lost without you. They're feeling like I don't have any purpose or meaning. And so they're like, I need to find my way back to you because you're the one who really lights my way, who lights my fire. I feel like a lot of songs have been coming through this reading, especially like rock and metal songs. So that could be something in your connection as well. Or this person is just listening to music to like rev themselves up a lot. Here's the thinking man. I'm always, it's interesting because he's a crystal. So I feel like they really are thinking about what can they give you like materially to just prove themselves to like have like a token or sign of commitment to you or just to show you how special they, that you are. They might want to give you like some kind of diamond or crystal actually. Um, they could, I, I feel like this is them also contemplating some kind of mystery as well. Like life isn't what they thought it was. So that's why with this hanging man here, I feel like they, they're just like really interested in having some kind of um, conversation with you, especially around um, like, you know, topics of like the occult or mystery. Like they feel like you understand that so much more than they do. Like you guys have, must have had a lot of inter interesting conversations together. And here's regeneration. This reading is um, flowing a lot more than the last one. I just feel like there's just strong energy here or something. Maybe just a lot of people are watching this one. I don't know. Um, co-create, regeneration and co-create. So I just feel like this person wants a rebirth of something with you, of this connection, of, like a restart. Like, let's do this over again. It looks like they want to create something with you, either, whether that be like home and family or working on some kind of creative project, especially music together, since I was getting a lot of like songs coming through here. And I'm just hearing like Phantom of the Opera now as well. Um, all I ask of you. 
Okay. And then we have someone has a message for you. Yeah. Someone is like has a burning desire to speak to you or to say something to you, to say something in particular to you. Um, pay attention to other aspects of your life. I feel like that's what you guys have been doing. And since you've really been doing that, I feel like it's shifted the energy into this in this connection where this person, um, you know, maybe they've been paying more attention to other things in their life. And then but suddenly they, they just were feeling like, you know what? I don't feel as good as when I am with number two. So I feel like this is really leading them to you. All right, we have build trust. So that's, I feel like that's what this person wants to work on with you is building trust. I do feel like they're aware that, you know, things aren't going to be mended right away, or maybe you guys haven't really been together. So they want to just take things slowly. So they do feel like, um, like harmony with you. They do feel like the potential, like if you guys haven't been together before, they do feel the potential to have like a really beautiful lifetime relationship with you. Um, but they need it to, they need the trust to be built slowly. I feel like a lot of you guys have known this person for a while. So this could be indicating that they really are starting to just trust you more. And we have listen in reverse. So I'm getting like this person um, listening, I feel like was their primary intention actually that was coming through. So I feel like maybe in the past they had not really been hearing you correctly, not truly listening, maybe like literally they just were, you know, not a good listener, but this could also just mean they just couldn't like understand. So they're getting like that understanding now. I feel like especially if you tell them your side of things that will help to build the trust here. Okay, and here is lifestyle. Let me just get a card to clarify. Lifestyle. This person might have been distracted a lot um, with this pay attention to other aspects of your life. I was just getting like, I can see this person playing maybe a lot of video games or something and this, um, they just weren't listening enough so because they were too distracted that was a problem. And here's the nine of pentacles. And yeah, I feel like they didn't realize like what a solid, amazing impact you've had in their life. And I feel like they're trying to rearrange their life, their lifestyle to make more room for you. Okay. So let's get a shadow message and a light message from them. Um, I am scared to face you because you mirror to me all the things I need to heal. Okay, a light message. Yeah, you, you are truly a mystery to this person. Um, I am strong in myself and know everything is going to be okay. Let's get a love note from them. Um, somewhere in time, I will find you and love you again. So yeah, for many of you, I was feeling like this was a um, very pretty ongoing connection and I feel like this person just cannot give you up and again for the few of you if you're watching for someone passed on or maybe someone passed on is just coming through for you I feel like this card is very related to that you know we're going to find each other again or maybe some of you guys have a soulmate that is yet to that you're yet to meet that is in this life but you haven't just met them yet and so they are kind of going through some of their struggles to clear the way for you guys to be led together um, you have changed me. Yeah, this person has been going through deep transformation. I want to show you my authentic self. I feel like you're the one person that they want to open up more with. So I get this strong message of they really want to tell you the truth and show you who they really are. Taking off the mask. And I think about you constantly. Yeah, the Ace of Swords can indicate just really on the mind a lot. We are in new territory and I feel like they're liking it. They're, they're liking this new thing, this new interesting life that they are coming into. All right, you guys, I'm going to go into just giving you guys some general advice, just getting some general messages to see what will come through. So you're welcome to keep watching here. Or if you feel drawn to another reading, feel free to click over there. The timestamps are below. All right. Thank you so much. All right, number two, let's get some general messages for you guys. Just let's see whatever comes through the cards, whatever wants to come through to help you guys out at this current time. Um, bef I was pre-shuffling some cards before this section of the reading, and I was feeling very, very strongly that you guys, um, some of you do have like a 
crossed over loved one very much wanting to come through. This usually doesn't happen in my readings, um, especially a mother figure. So just take that if that resonates for you. And the name Josephine came through as well. So that'd be a very specific message for maybe one person. All right. So with the name. All right. Let's get a few tarot cards for you guys. But I'm feeling also if you guys don't have you don't feel like you have a loved one who is wanting to communicate to you in spirit. I'm feeling um, that you guys have like very, very deep intuitive abilities. I feel like maybe some of you guys are even working on developing some kind of mediumship um, abilities as well, or you have some hidden skills and talents that you guys that are yet to awaken in you. So they are latent in you. They could be like spiritual things or they could be um, talents of another nature. Like I feel like some of you guys are like latent singers um, or some kind of musician, someone um, or just someone who can be very powerful and have a very powerful impact on other people. So maybe you're very, you could be very good at speaking and maybe some of you guys like don't like your voice but um you actually are just like very very um you can have a very big effect on people actually like very powerful you can really transform people okay so we have the seven of crystals which is the seven of wands in this deck and we have the moon where well here are these like um like psychic abilities coming through or just like hidden like stuff that's hidden from you that you are yet to find within yourself so there's a lot to discover about yourself um, still, and here's the three of cups. I feel like a lot of people would celebrate these talents that you have. They would really enjoy them. Um, and here's the page of crystals, the page of wands with the ace of cups. Okay. So I feel like the message here is stay on your path. Um, I feel like love is on its way to you. Um, better friendships, um, like a new relationship for some of you that could be the message coming through. So I feel like some of you guys could be sparking up a, an interesting conversation with someone here. I do feel like you guys have been going through a bit of a struggle with the seven of wands and the moon right here. But I feel like the message here, it might be, it is, um, I think in number one, the message was more like the hermit, like stay to yourself, take some time to yourself. But it looks like you guys are being prompted to maybe get out there a bit more, um, spend some more time with people you truly enjoy, make some new friends, um, do whatever you can do to bring some new energy into your life and just um, if you don't know of people to be around at least just go out maybe go to some kind of new environment new location for yourself start to do things just for the fun and joy of them um, because I feel like there is like a great new love to be found if you guys are already with someone this could mean just a new best friend even like a new pet <laughs> um, or per perhaps some of you guys are um, wanting to get pregnant even. So I'm seeing that like coming through from you for you after a period of it taking a long time. Another very specific message is um, I'm feeling like this could even be a re reincarnation of, you know, someone who was dear to you in your family line. So of course, that'll be a specific message for only some of you. Let's get some more Oracle cards here. Let's see, what is your biggest blessing coming through here? So I feel like the messages here are a little less heavy um, than in number one. So you guys could be maybe a little bit more sure of yourself going through an okay time in life right now. So with the seven of wands here, I feel like this is you guys, it's kind of showing you're, um, you're either really popular or you're destined for popularity, like recognition of your talents. So I feel like it's really important to really grow your strength in knowing like your limits and your boundaries, not letting everyone in, um, like really defend, like defending yourself in your work. Okay. Your biggest blessing coming in. Wow. Paradise. All right. So you guys are like on your way to the Holy Grail here with this Ace of Cups showing up. So I'm seeing like maybe you guys will be moving to a really beautiful location. You're going to be finding the home of your dreams. Um, or if you already have that, maybe you'll just be um, just making some more improvements to it, making a just beautiful area. I feel like maybe you're going to be finding also some places in nature that you might really like, or just your own little secret place. Um, maybe this could be someone new, like guiding you to this area. So it looks like some very heavenly, experiences are coming in for you so definitely keep an eye out for those keep a focus on that in your life okay so let's see here oh we have a card from a different deck in here i'll take one from here so we have the seven of swords seven of wands seven of swords a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom take caution and be aware of others actions make sure you're being honest with yourself okay so yeah i feel like since i do feel like you guys could be rising stars rising in pop popularity um it is important for you guys to 
um, really develop a strong discernment and intuition because um, it's important not to just trust everyone who comes into your path. You do have to be careful. I mean, you don't have to like never open up to anyone or share with anyone, but make sure you're not sharing too much of yourself until you just really know you can trust someone. They've really proven themselves to you. Maybe you've prayed about it. And here's your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn. So yeah, I feel like you guys definitely need this message because I feel like you have been you have been doing a lot of work on yourself, a lot of work on maybe a business or some kind of skill. Let's see. Let me get another card for you guys. And how beautiful. We have um, Eclipse in Taurus, a change of heart, reevaluation. So this could be a new start in a relationship for you here with this Ace of Cups or just a brand new relationship. Um, Taurus is uh, the longest lasting sign of the Zodiac since it is fixed Earth. So I'm feeling like you guys, look, we have Paradise here as well. So I feel like you guys are on your way to really finding maybe a stable home, stable family, stable relationship um, environment. If you don't feel like you quite have that established just yet or you're deepening that. I see a very lovely community around you. You got, Some of you guys might be manifesting and creating this. So it's very important for you guys to, to not just like to really have your um, discernment up so you don't just let anyone in. Okay, um, and here is the Page of Pentacles. Scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous. Time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. A new area of study. All right, so it looks, a uh, Page of Wands can be good news here. So I feel like maybe something like that you've really been desiring in your heart could be coming true for you. This, especially this could be some kind of invitation or job offer and literally scholarship is on this card as well. So maybe some kind of financial assistance is coming in for you. Something where you're just gonna be feeling more at ease, more taking care of. Taurus is all about um, feeling financially secure as well and just surrounding yourself with beauty and nice things. So I just see a big upgrade in your environment here. Maybe you guys will be um, like kind of laying plans for um, for what you would like to do to upgrade your life. Okay, and then we have a lavender connect to body, mind, and soul. So yeah, with this paradise, this holy grail here, I feel like you guys and, and the three body, mind, and soul, I feel like that's a trinity. I feel like you guys are hitting like this sweet spot of just um, feeling balanced and feeling like everything is coming into alignment. So don't give up. I feel like there is still just a little bit of like the past, like this darkness to let go of this moon here. But I feel like this is a very short and brief period of time. And you guys are like really just just about to be over this mountain here. So a very beautiful time coming in for you guys here. Okay, got some pre-shuffled cards and wow, yeah, here's Jupiter. So Jupiter is the great the great benefic, um, loves to give blessings. So I feel like maybe some of you guys are going to have some kind of interesting Jupiter transit in your chart. Your confidence, courage, self-belief, and luck. So I'm getting like your luck is going in a very positive direction. You're just feeling like things are working out favorably for you after maybe what has felt like a period of bad luck and misfortune. Um, we then have chivalry coming out here as well. Jupiter sh chivalry. So some of you, this, is, this message is to let you know you're going to be meeting your spouse or someone you're already with. Um, they are going to want to propose to you or just get closer to you, want to do more for you. And then we have Aquarius here. This is interesting because we have kind of like, it looks like, somewhat of a rock concert here or something and um, that was coming through a lot in the love part of the reading so you could be meeting an interesting Aquarius or I just feel like for a lot of you this could mean um, or you could meet them through this person through social media I'm just feeling like a lot of you guys are just increasing in popularity, revving up your talents, like kind of out of the blue. Like I feel like something very interesting is going to happen out of the blue, something that makes you feel like incredibly lucky to be alive, feeling like you're creating heaven on earth. All right. And then a couple more pre-shuffled cards here. So the card that came out for you guys was Harry Houdini, Mastery. So yeah, this is interesting because I'm getting like you guys are super, super skilled. Like you're yet to reveal some kind of um, hidden talents. And I feel that um, 
some of you guys will be like world famous or just have a really big following for some of your skills. Um, the quote from Houdini in here is look at this life, all mystery and magic. So I'm getting like, there's lots of interesting turns of events that are going to be happening in your life. That's going to make you very happy to be alive. Just very enjoying, very much enjoying your life in general. Um, it's interesting. This little story in here about him was just talking about, um, he, his mother died in 1920 and then he became disheartened by fraud psychic mediums who failed to prove legitimacy in their craft. And then he just went on this big search to try to find out if there was a true intuitive out there. It doesn't say if he actually found them or not, but just th thought that was really interesting. So I'm getting like, maybe you guys, um, like a lot of people are going to be recognizing you for having like true talent for being like a true star among like a bunch of fakes almost. So you'll be recognizing, recognized for maybe your authenticity or something like this. And then from the mother Mary Oracle, you guys got, um, our lady of the whispering heart. So that is beautiful. The little message here says, I want to be close to you, my cherished child, so I dwell within your heart. From that sacred place, I speak to you daily. Can you feel my presence? I am the voice within that assures you all is well. I am the feeling in your heart that tells you it is all right to trust, no matter what appears to be. So yeah, maybe you guys have some things from your past that are haunting you. You're like, I'm afraid that's just going to happen again. But I feel like you guys are being guided to the promised land here with this Ace of Cups and Paradise here. Um, let's see. I am the knowing in your heart that every prayer you speak is heard and answered by me instantly. I, so this could be encouragement to pray some more. I am the joy and relief in your heart as you realize that your answered prayers are already unfolding in divine per perfection. So that could be a big message for you guys here as well. Answered prayers. It definitely feels like this with these um, beautiful cards that came through. This is a very like paradise looking card as well. Just beautiful. Um, anything else? Listen for me and no peace within. All right. So keep moving toward that inner peace, you guys, because I feel like you guys have figured something out. Like you've really solved some kind of complex mystery and you are going to get where you want to. Or I feel like, um, it's almost like you guys are being led to somewhere that you didn't imagine, like maybe that you weren't really manifesting it, but it's going to turn out better than what you were imagining or trying to manifest. So I know when people like write down something they want, oftentimes they'll say this or something better. So I feel like you guys are being led to the something better, especially maybe in um, a relationship perhaps there is a lot of like love coming through here. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you in some way. And hope to see you on an upcoming video. Um, if you really like this deck, I do have a link for where it is for sale on Vanessa Sumayina's site, Bow Life site. And she gave us a coupon code for it. Um, all of uh, the decks that I used in this video should be listed below as well. And pretty much any link in the description does help to support the channel here in some way. And of course, just being here, watching, being supportive, liking the videos help so much too. So thank you guys. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey there, number three. Thank you so much for joining me here. Those of you who chose the wishing well with the blue elephant, and I hope you guys are doing well. So let's see what are your person's intentions towards you, your person of interest, person on your mind and heart. So please remember that this is a general reading. So please just take what you feel is for you. Feel free to reject anything that doesn't seem to be for you, that seems wrong for you. Even if that's the whole reading, you can choose another reading if you choose, if you so choose to. And we will also have a general advice, general messages, part of the reading after the relationship reading. So you're welcome to stay tuned for that or choose a different number if you want to. Okay, so let's get some overall cards here. At this moment that you're finding this video, what are your person's intentions towards you, number three? What can we pick up from them? We have, oh, nice cards. Um, Four of Wands and the Sun. We have the Queen of Swords. 
we have the six of wands i was just getting like this person wants to like warm you up and win you over so for some of you guys i feel um i feel two different things here that this could be something where um they're like trying to impress you this could be where they kind of have a crush on you they're trying to win you over um for the first time make like maybe you guys haven't had a chance to be together yet or maybe this is um someone you have been with and they're trying to like win you back Okay, and wow, look at this. This looks like another winning card. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. So this person, Eight of Wands. Okay, this person has great force, great desire to make things happen with you, to uh, like get together with you, to be with you for quite a long time with this Ten of Pentacles coming up. So without the Ten of Pentacles here, um, I wouldn't exactly feel like they want like a really long-term thing, but this showed up here and this, I, I feel like... I feel like some of them just want to like take you out on a date or something, um, just kind of test the waters with you. And if they feel like they can really make you happy, I feel like they, they just need like one more go at this and to determine if they maybe want to commit to you, to have you around for a long time. Um, I feel like this person feels very at home with you, very at ease. Um, some of you guys, if you're already in a relationship with this person, they might want to move in with you, move in together with this four of wands here. I feel like they're very focused on making you happy. Maybe some of you guys have a vision um, or like a business plan or something and they want to help you out with that. They want to help make your dreams happen. Okay, so what's their primary intention with you, number three? So their primary intention with you. We have, wow, temperance, perfecting balance, union of opposites. So harmony here, patience. So I feel like they are willing to take their time with you and do what it takes to work things out. Um, it does look like this could be a very blessed connection, actually, because the temperance can be like outside, outside divine help. We also have, um, and we have another angelic card here, judgment, heeding the call, a new spiritual story. So I feel like maybe they they feel like they haven't met like the one yet they haven't been able to have their one awesome relationship yet and i feel like they're really um, being guided towards you to move forward with you they're really feeling it with you for sure i feel like they're just liking to like bask in <laughs> the glory of the connection with you so they really like what they feel with you i feel like they see that maybe you have high standards and they're really wanting to rise to the occasion to meet them i feel like this person's very competitive they could definitely be an athlete or something like that and we have falling leaves so it could be that this season you know this fall coming up to so most of you watching it if you're watching when this is released it will be the autumn season so i feel like they're very determined like now like very very soon to make something um happen with you changes transition time time changes everything so i feel like this person has had some time to really decide on like to decide on you to choose you that they're the, that you're the one they want they want to move forward with you And for some of you, this could be someone you knew when you were younger and you guys didn't ever get like a chance to be together. And they've really just been through a lot of interesting experiences. They feel like you have as well um, that has kind of like led you guys back together. So I feel like they're, they're really feeling like a sense of like destiny and purpose between you two. And they're like, if I wouldn't have had this time apart, um, I wouldn't have had this new perspective on things. All right, here's intuition, the high priestess with destiny. Oh my gosh. So this is the wheel of fortune here. So yeah, that was just coming through that they feel purpose and destiny with you. So they really feel like you guys belong together. Okay, this card wants to come out and wow, seventh house. This is the house of partnerships and marriage relating partners, companionship, best friends, marriage. Some of you guys might be best friends with this person and they're wanting to take it to the next level. So I feel like this person really does want to make sure that they can be a really good partner for you, that they can live up to your standards, live up to um, their potential. Okay, let's see what else we got. This person is, I just feel like they're ready to do your bidding is what I'm getting here. They like that you have high standards. And here's new beginnings. Look at this. So um, for some of you, they might want to have a child with you or maybe you guys already do have one together. True love is on the bottom of the deck as well. 
So this person, I feel like they really, they're in love with like the future of this connection with you. They're in love with what they feel is their destiny here. I feel like they are so happy and excited to be moving forward with you. So this is the most positive reading so far for sure. Okay, and then we have the third eye chakra. So this is um, like intuition here as well. So I feel like this person just knows within their heart, within their soul, that this is right, that they want to move forward. And they, they're they like, the only thing that's going to stop us is, um, you know, God or, or you, if you decide you don't want this. Otherwise, they're very determined to make this work, but they're not going to let anyone else, anything else get in the way. Like they want this, super determined. Okay, so they feel like you can really see into them. You can read them. You just get them. They like having that um, real understanding between you both. Let's get some more details through the tarot cards here. What else are they intending towards you? What else do we need to know about their situation, about how they're feeling? Judgment coming through again. So we have two cards of balance and harmony here. This Libra, this temperance card. Um, here's the page of cups. I feel like something woke this person up or like they had a dream or something. Yeah, maybe I feel like almost like they dreamt of you and it kind of jogged some old, old feelings or memories and or it just put them in touch with like something something deeper within themselves. Like it brought that to the surface and they're like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Why am I waiting around? So I feel like this person wants to ask you out if this is like a, a more of a crush situation, like a friend situation. Or they might want to confess more of their feelings, share a bit more of their heart with you. All right. Well, Queen of Swords showing up again. They really feel like um, you might reject them or they just feel... Let me, let me clarify this because why is the Queen of Swords coming up twice? They, they really feel like they have to impress you. Here's the Nine of Swords. It's actually pretty scary for them. They really feel like they're taking a risk and going out on a limb, but I feel like there is so much intense energy behind them, like so much of the sense of purpose and do, uh, destiny and this um, like intuitive sense that they're trying to follow. They're trying to follow their heart. I feel like they really want to just um, like try to make something work with you, try to like share their feelings with you, even though it does seem to terrify them. All right, and then we have the hermit. This person has had some time to themselves. For some of you, I was just like feeling, hearing that they had like a broken leg or, you know, some kind of illness or something that really made them spend a lot of time by themselves. And this is what really made them change their mind. This is when they were start dreaming. I feel like they were like kind of like going into um, like uh, unintentional meditation and they started getting all these feelings and feeling like, yeah, I want, I, Number three is who I want. Here's the two of swords. I feel like this time to themselves really helped clear something up for them. Yeah, definitely. Knight of swords. So they're like, they they were having all these thoughts and feelings in this time to themselves. And they are like, I can't wait anymore. I need to rush toward number three because they're afraid like you're going to turn your back on them or you're going to go off with someone else because they really feel like you're a really really good catch like they feel they will feel very lucky if things can work out with you oh my gosh I just felt like I should take the top two cards off this deck and it is justice and the four of wands so some of you they are like racing to like even want to propose some kind of marriage to you or something like some kind of union coming together living together that kind of thing just where you guys will be closer Okay, and then we have the Four of Pentacles with the world. I feel like this person very much wants wants to very much wants to share their world with you. I feel like most of the time they're closed off to others. They really keep to themselves. They might be kind of selfish and greedy sometimes, but I just feel they know like this is different with you because they feel, really feel like they want to open up with you and just share everything that they have and work very hard for you as well with this Eight of Pentacles. So this person is really willing to put in the work with you. I feel like they really want to show you what they're made of. And they really are, like I said, trying so hard to impress you. 
This person is just really looking for a new start in life as well. And here's the Wolverine, fierce and unpredictable. Okay, anything we need from this card exactly? Any words? Um, determined is is the big word standing out here for me. Um, not really elusive. Uh, let's see. Let me get one more card from this deck. It's still it feels like something else wants to come out of here. All right, and then we have church coming up as well. Almost like they've been tamed. We have marriage coming through here for so family values. Okay, so this person, I, I feel like they're wanting to put their wild side behind them. You know, they're they're balancing out. They want to have that um, more like meaningful, slower paced life. Um, they want to settle down is what I'm feeling here when before I feel like they were just wanting to run wild and free and they are just not like that anymore. They're like time changes everything. I'm getting older. I want to settle in, settle down. So some of them might want to um, like maybe explore your religion or share something about their religious upbringing with you or something, something that they were brought up with, like some kind of family tradition. For a few of you, they want to take you to their church or they want to get married in a, in a special church. Okay. Oh, that's cute and sad. All right. Headache, poor health, disease, illness. So yeah, I was just, we have Virgo here, like the hermit. So I was just feeling like this could be a confirmation that a lot of them did have like this time out. Maybe they actually did act just have like a headache and they were just lying down and just having all these new ideas come in and they're kind of like, you know, it's good that I had this time to myself, this time to just lie down. Maybe they were even just like sick for a day or two and it just made them, it gave them so many realizations because sometimes if you lie down even for like 10 or 20 minutes just to take a nap, sometimes that you can just feel so much better and have a total perspective change and shift They're feeling like maybe dealing with life without you is just like, like a headache. They need, they feel like they need your, your guidance, like your rationality. Okay. Here's space. So like this hermit here again, space. Okay. So I'm also feeling like they want a nice balance in this connection where you guys have a lot of time together, but there's still enough space for you guys to do your own thing, be yourself. So I feel like they really want to, they're really trying to respect your space. I'm not feeling like they want much space from me, from you right now. I feel a lot of coming together, a lot of wanting to win you over. Um, and, but they're, they're willing to respect your space. So I feel like they really want to understand your boundaries as well. So they might want to have that kind of conversation. They're trying to figure out what your boundaries are maybe, but I feel like they want to play by your rules. Okay, and then we have the polar bear. This is like the emperor here. So I feel like this person wants to show you that they can be very, very serious um, when something really means a lot to them. They can be very protective as well. So they do want to take, they do want to do what it takes to protect this connection, to protect you. They want to work hard for you. I feel like they're really trying to get ahead in their business or their career to show you just how much they're growing how big of a person they are. Um, and we have the stars destiny card on the bottom of this deck as well. So that's like the second time destiny is coming through here. So I feel like they're just like on fire with like this purpose, this sense of purpose now. So I feel like in this sense, you've been very, very good for them. Okay. Cause this person might've been leading kind of like a meaningless party life before and it they were just weren't getting anything out of it yeah they've definitely transformed here they radical change evolve becoming your best self so i feel like they they really have like this fire to become better and feminine power lady boss so we have the queen of swords coming up twice this could um they could be recognizing you strength abundance independence i feel like they're trying to fire themselves up so much because they feel like maybe they need to catch up to you and your level of success they need to be on your level in some way that's how they feel Heavy heart, depressed, melancholy, grieving sorrow. Wow, this kind of came out of nowhere, you guys, because overall there's pretty positive, um, fired up feelings here. But I feel like every while, every once in a while, this person gets some kind of maybe depressive spells, just kind of gets down in the dumps. Um, or maybe they feel like they didn't do you justice in the past. And they're like, I hope that if you guys had, um, had known this person before for a while. So let's clarify, what is this heavy heart about? I feel like they, they kind of have this heavy heart about not being more uh, there for you. And I feel like they, they want to catch up and they want to make up for any lost time anywhere that they weren't there to help contribute to you, to support you. 
All right, here's the four of swords. Yeah, you guys might have had some time apart where you weren't really talking and this really bothers them. Like they don't like that there was silence for maybe for so long. Seven of swords, they probably weren't telling you what they were up to and they feel like crap about that. Um, and then we have the knight of cups on the top of the deck here. So I feel like that's how they just want to change things around. That's what, um, that's who they want to be now is this person who really shows you how they feel, communicates their love to you. What else? Okay. Wow. Temperance angel again. We have the angel of balance coming through. So there's a lot of like higher power stuff coming through here. Let me see. Um, we have indecision. So I feel like this is, this person maybe was undecided for a while. And I feel like there are like divine forces, divine helpers really helping to tip the scale, tip the balance to get them to move things forward with you. Like kind of like a little um, positive kick in the butt to work harder in their life and to work on this relationship with you or to ask you out if this is something newer. Okay. And then we have the never ending story here. Number 37. I feel like this person has been caught in some kind of loop for a while and um, it's like they weren't finding meaning from what they were doing. It was just like the same thing over and over and over again. And um, I feel like they're, they're really seeing you as this blessing in their life that brings like you are the spice of their life is what it feels like. Okay. And never under ending story. I'm getting also, this could mean that they just want to be with you for the rest of their lives. This is right by the 10 of pentacles here. And with the four of wands, that is also stability. Um, this card's coming out. And I, I do feel like this is someone who maybe wouldn't have really wanted to commit and settle down in the past, but I, I just feel like this person has totally turned around. They're not like that anymore. Um, and then we have unchanged at this time. The situation is stable and unlikely to change. So I feel like it's almost surprising. Like maybe you thought this person would never change. Maybe they thought that they would never change. Um, and I feel like that is some, like, it's almost going to be surprising how this person is going to be acting. Let's clarify this. I feel like they're afraid that maybe they're not going to be able to change your mind about something. Here's the moon. Yeah, there's something like that. They're really wishing that they could change something in the past. That is something that is bothering them, it feels like. Okay, let's see what else comes out. We have adjustments are required before moving forward. Have faith. You are ignoring a blessing. I feel like this is what is going on with this person. They are realizing that they have been, been ignoring that this ignoring this blessing of you in their life. And for some of you, maybe um, this is someone that you haven't been with before. And maybe it's either like you don't know them. This is someone new coming in for you, being led into your life. If you have, if you don't have anyone right now, um, this could also mean this is like maybe someone you do know and you're not really noticing that they're really into you, that you guys would be a really good match. Okay. Your finances are improving. I feel like that's this person working on themselves. Ask someone for help. It's almost like they want to reach out and ask to help you with something if they can be of any service to you. And we have positive thinking can change the outcome. All right, definitely. We have this um, sun card here. So I see a lot of positivity in this reading for sure. Okay, I, I feel like this person is trying to be very positive around you. Just give off this really positive vibe. I feel like they don't want to bring any, they don't want to bring you down at all with this heavy heart card. They're like, they, they want to lighten your burdens, if anything. They don't want to add any anything burdensome to your life. Um, for something that might be why they were um, staying away from you. Maybe they, they had too much to work through and they didn't want to burden you with their issues. Okay, let's see here. Shadow message and a light message from them. We have everyone is out to get me. Life is unfair. This is the side of them they don't like to really show you because I feel like they always want to show you like they're a winner and that they think really positively. They have a lot of confidence, but they don't always have all the confidence that they are showing off. 
Okay. And the light message. I often think of the first time we met and I'm grateful you came into my life. Yeah. So they're like, no matter what happens, I am so grateful to know you. I love knowing you. You've brought a lot of light into my life. Let's get a love note from them. Okay. You've awakened a spiritual force within me. Yeah. I feel like this person doesn't even know what hit them. Because they're getting all these like interesting ideas. Okay, what else do they say to you? We have you help me to see clearly. Maybe you guys really spoke some kind of truth to them. And almost like you set them free from something. For a few of you, maybe this was like the actual relationship. If you guys like um, moved on like with mutual um, like as mutual friends. I can't, what's the mutually, just an amicable split. That could be for some of you. I am watching you from afar. So I feel like this person always wants to be involved in your life. They always want to make sure you're doing well. And I made so many mistakes, which they are trying to correct. And here's my heart belongs to you. Okay, you guys, so let's go into looking at the, just some general advice, general messages for you guys. So you can stick around here if you feel drawn to sticking in number three here, or you can check out another number if you feel drawn to something else. So let me get some more decks out. All right, number three, let's see what general messages are going to come through for you. What do you most need to know? So let's see here, number three. What do you most need to know? We have the Eight of Swords. Ooh, we have, I guess this wants to be in reverse. Five of Swords reversed. I feel like maybe some of you guys have cut ties with someone recently. Um, we have the Two of Cups. Okay, let's see. And then we have the Eight of Cups. I feel like you guys are definitely walking toward something better. And we have the Page of Crystals. This is the Page of Wands. With the Eight of Diamonds, Eight of Pentacles. And then we have the King of Cups. Wow. Okay, let's see here. So I feel like this is um, going to be somewhat of a relationship reading still since we have this two of cups here. You guys can take this for um, a platonic connection as well. But I feel like um, maybe you guys have just been really feeling like you've been falling apart from some kind of disharmony with someone in your life, someone very important to you. Um, I do see that Maybe some of you guys have been afraid to release something that has been maybe not good, not happy for you at all. But I feel like there is this beautiful promise of someone very genuine and loyal and true here. Um, this could be a new relationship partner for you. The King of Cups is a wonderful person to have a relationship with, especially when the eight, they have the Eight of Pentacles there. That means they're a hard worker. They want to do their part. They're focused on doing something productive and creative in the world. They're not just trying to just waste time and, you know, chase like addictions and go after other relationships you know that kind of uh, just shady stuff um so i feel like it's really important for you guys to really walk toward to choose yourself to choose your own happiness and walk towards something more like have faith that there's something more fulfilling and more beautiful on the way to you if you guys are watching from um the beginning of number three here um it could be that um, you know, the person that was coming through number three was like really positive and really like, yeah, I want this. I want you. I want to commit to you. So maybe you guys are yet to find that person. I feel like they could be like right around the corner for you as soon as you guys let go of a very like painful, I feel like kind of like a backstabbing type situation. So I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about here. If you are um, still here, still resonating with this, I feel like you guys really know what's best for you. We have the high priestess on the bottom of this deck. So I feel like it's time to um, just keep like collect your energies to yourself for a while. And we have the six of diamonds, six of pentacles. Um, I really like how just like balanced and lovely this card looks like you guys just need to find your balance, your emotional peace. That is what's going to attract in a very beautiful partner for you guys. Um, or just very beautiful emotional support. Like maybe you guys aren't looking for a romantic relationship and but I feel like there is, um, you guys could really benefit from some more just lovely supportive energy around you. So I feel like some of the messages, like they're still good and safe 
people in this world there's still good and safe areas for you to find um because I feel some of you guys have been feeling um a little bit fearful and just out of place maybe where you are right now some of you guys might be making a move might be feeling called to move somewhere else or just to travel somewhere to just try some new places out get in some new areas I feel like that will bring your spark and your energy your interest for life back um, if you've lost any of that It'll bring you some more peace and I feel like that is what is going to just a like change your field to attract this very beautiful person in so if you guys are looking for someone or looking for a really good friend or like business partner or something um, try to embody like who that person is within yourself like how would you want that person's inner state to be and um, find that inner state within yourself okay so yeah I feel like you guys um, you can I feel like you guys are really good manifestors like um, like as soon as you decide that you want something, as soon as you decide to like embody it, I feel like it will come to you very fast. Okay. So just get, get the right vision for yourself. The three of crystals, three of wands was on the top of this deck. You guys have a lot to look forward to. So it's time to start looking forward to the future rather than, um, being caught in like a trap of the past. So let's see, what is the next major blessing for you guys for number three here? Okay, we have two cards coming out. So I feel like you guys are really being abundantly blessed here in the near future. Um, we have karma, clearing some karma out and family. So maybe some family karma or drama is going to be um, dropped. Maybe you will be getting closer with your family. Um, you could also be uh, meeting some destined, uh, having some destined meetings with your soul family here as well. Something that is like predestined for you where you guys had like some kind of soul contract to meet each other. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you, especially with this eight of cups here, I feel like there is some kind of dropping of some old baggage to heal something in that's maybe been in your family line for a long time okay let's see what else we have so some serious deep healing coming in be bold and make the first move cardinal moon so aries cancer libra capricorn be bold and make the first move yeah i do feel like it's time for you guys to take some action i feel that you're going to find um this person or a new blessing, a new beautiful situation for yourself if you go out and take action rather than uh, waiting for it to come for to you because that can be a valid um, strategy as well to kind of put your intention out there and let see what opportunities show up. But I do feel like you guys at least have to make some kind of small actions in this situation to bring about what your, your next, um, the next like scene of your life. And I feel like it's really important for you guys to like script out what do you want that scene to look like so you don't just like create by default. All right. And then we have moon and cancer belonging, a sensitive, introspective phase. So I feel like you guys um, are kind of coming out of this more introspective phase. Um, I'm getting like the messages. You guys are ready. You guys are ready to move forward or ready to move on if there's something you're leaving behind. What other advice wants to come through here? All right. Um, then we have, this is, I believe this is the 10, yeah, this is the 10 of swords in this deck. So the end of a situation that br brings relief, sadness, or both, but there is the opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders, the end of an addiction. So that looks good here. I feel like you guys are really being set free, but I feel like maybe you guys have to initiate it or you have to make the choice or at least like even if you don't act in the outer world, I feel like you have to make like a very firm decision within yourself and embody this new reality, these new people that you want to have around you. Okay, and then we have the Eight of Swords showing up again for you guys. The illusion of entrapment, a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless. Yeah, I feel like you guys are way more powerful than you realize because um, the Eight of Swords is is like kind of like a weak card where it's like things seem way worse than they actually are and... You just have to kind of like make this choice. I'm sorry. You just have to make this choice to like just dispel the negativity and just move forward. Just find that mental strength and just like send out this blast of light to just clear the way for yourself. Um, being afraid to take action. Take responsibility for your life now. So that's the um, big message on there. So I feel like maybe you guys have taken some time after a painful ending or just a very maybe shocking, frustrating experience. Um, 
and it's very good for you guys to take some time to heal but I feel like um, maybe you guys have been stuck in maybe a pattern of like keeping yourself back and I feel like now is the time to go ahead and move forward and start this take some steps towards your new life there's something very beautiful waiting for you so I did pre-shuffle some cards here Let's see I'll get uh, these first so um, a lot of cards wanted to come out for you guys very interesting we have a lot of water signs coming through here because we have pisces we have um neptune just like pisces again the eighth house scorpio and we have home which is like cancer so we have cancer pisces and scorpio coming out here and then we have celebrations you're ready to bring new and exciting things into your life so i'm feeling like um like a homecoming here or something like you guys could be coming home to yourselves finally feeling at home with yourself some of you guys could be manifesting your dream partner um a, maybe a new home like some of you guys might be um finding a new home and being very happy in it and yeah I, I do see you being very very happy in a new situation very soon if not right now because we have this luminosity card coming in so i feel like um oh yeah this is kind of what i was seeing just like you guys just need to pro pro like project all this like light energy around you to dispel some of those dark thoughts. So I see more of an enlightening coming through for you. Um, and I see you just shining and glowing with what is coming in for the next phase here. And the manifestation card came out as well. So I feel like there is something you're manifesting um, that is on its way here. Like something that is going to satisfy like something very, like a very deep desire in you. Um, so maybe something you've been dreaming about forever. Um, anything else we need to know about that? I want to get another tarot card here. I think it's like you guys are finding your true home. You're finding peace. And here's the three of wands showing up again for you. So um, the message here is very important to dig deep into your heart with the six of cups here decide what is the most fulfilling thing for you not what you think you want not what others want for you what do you truly truly want in your heart even if it's not some huge grand desire or vision whatever it is that's what you're really meant to have so keep your eye on that maybe take some small actions to help manifest that okay and a couple other cards i got here we have um, St. Anthony coming through here. Reclaim. So I feel like this is like reclaim your power. Reclaim your, like, I feel like your birthright was coming through. Your God-given right to happiness, to having a stable, beautiful home, to having a beautiful partnership. Um, I feel like God is providing this to you. Um, let's see what some of the book says here. And I love this. It says, um, what seems what seems lost i come to find with saint anthony's aid crossed ties unbind interesting so um i like what it says in the book here where it says anthony calls back lost fragments of your energies that have been torn pulled or lost during your day and throughout your life and reintegrates them softly back into your luminous energy field again and that's just crazy because the luminosity card came out so we have luminous here twice so that's an important word for you guys so yeah i feel like there is um you guys need to allow some time for some reintegration of maybe some lost parts of yourself um, so you're shining again and don't, and I feel like it's very important for you guys to make sure no one steals that light from you. Don't allow anyone, anything to steal that light from you. Um, you can always call that light back to you. And I see that you guys are very, very sensitive with all of these water cards here as well. So you do need to make sure you protect yourself, shield yourself as often as you can. So let's see. He aids tirelessly restoring energy to those who have lost memories, passion, and power, and is extremely diligent in working on missing person cases. So I'm also getting here, we had a lot of happiness in the home here. Um, for a few of you, maybe if you know someone that's missing, perhaps they are um, going to be coming home. So I don't want to give like false hope in that situation. And I'm very sorry if anyone is dealing with that. But there, that's a, me a message coming through here that's never come through before. Um, that could also be something uh, if you're in some kind of situation like that where someone something seems lost um, something seems like a lost cause um, this could be a very strong message to be praying about that um, I, I i think saint jude was wanting to come through as well and that's like the patron saint of lost causes and like hope feeling hopeless um, these two cards and if nothing else prayer can just help you cope with a situation as well so we have um the first one that came out was Our Lady of Answered Prayers. 
and Our Lady Who Prevents Interference. So, wow, I love the message for this one because it says your inner light is growing, my beloved. So for sure, that was a big message here that you guys, I feel like you're growing in um, sensitivity, light, strength. So this could mean you're, you're intuitive, like vision is opening up more. Um, you guys are just like feeling more, understanding more, just becoming more sensitive to everything around you. And I feel like this is, this is maybe a little disturbing to you. Maybe you're going through some disturbing experiences. So to get through this, it's very important to shield yourself, protect yourself, pray, pray for protection. And, um, like the more you align with God, with the divine, um, you know, that really true, beautiful divine principle, then the more you are protected and you feel safe, you feel good. So that's, it's good to focus on that. So, and through love, you are attracting many who can be nourished by you. So, yeah, I feel like people are very much drawn to just how caring and giving and loving you are. You have this light that really attracts people. I don't feel, so I mean, maybe I feel like you have, because of that, like, um, the dark always gets really attracted to the light as well. So I feel like that's why you've gone through some maybe really rough things. You've interfaced with some very rough people situations and it wasn't because there was something wrong with you. It was just because, um, that's just like how this world is. There's like evil and dark here as well as the light. So I, I feel that you guys can choose to just, um, walk in the light more and intend to just have more, just the light experiences. If you're kind of done with like dealing with some of this darkness, if that makes sense. Okay, it says, as the love in you blossoms, there are others who are captured in fear who may feel threatened by you and wish to obstruct your growth. Yeah, that's what's going, what was going on, I feel. I am your salvation and protection for my love is greater than any fear. Place your loving trust in me. You shall not be harmed, nor shall you be swayed from your inevitable spiritual success on my path of love. I prevent spiritual sabotage from succeeding. The success on your path through me is the triumph of spiritual freedom. So this is from the Mother Mary Oracle here. So um, yeah, it looks like there is something that you guys have been praying about. It looks like that is wanting to um, develop here in your life that is coming true. Um, it looks like there is something very protected that, uh, or like this prayer of yours, this vision, this desire of yours is being protected. It is coming to fruition. Um, but just very important to stay in prayer and to stay focused, like keep your eye on the prize. And I feel like there is like some miracle that's being worked in your life, especially around maybe home and family, because I feel like just this happiness coming to your home, um, finding some more contentment and relief in your emotional life as well. Okay, I think that's all I have for you guys. I hope this made sense for you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you on the next video or on one of the many past videos on this channel. There should be some playlists linked below. Um, the decks are linked below, almost always listed below as well, including this beautiful um, Gentle Heart Tarot from um, Bo Life. That store will be linked below as well, of course. And pretty much any of the links in the description really do help out the channel. And um, But you guys just being here, watching the videos, liking the videos, um, just being supportive as you always are, that helps so much. So thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey there, number four. Thanks a lot for joining me here. You guys chose this key with this scythe. So I hope you're doing very well. The green heart here as well. So let's see. What are your person's current intentions towards you at the time you're finding this video so the person on your mind and heart person on your mind what are their intentions towards you number four and please keep in mind this is a general reading for many people at once so please just take what you feel is for you maybe that will be the whole reading maybe just a few messages um, or if there's anything that just feels totally wrong for you feel free to throw it out and that includes the whole reading if it feels off to you you're welcome to choose another reading if you feel like it all right so let's go into it you guys so your person's intentions towards you at this moment so we have the hierophant with the eight of cups what is it? and the ace of wands I feel like this person wants to get the party started with you let's see here um, we have the Knight of Wands. Oh, yeah, there's the party as well. This person has like two sides to them. They're kind of interesting. Okay, which card? Which card? It's like two cards stuck together. So I guess I'll just take them both. Um, we have the Four of Swords. I was just hearing Daniel Tiger. <laughs> Maybe Daniel is a name. Tiger, they could be Year of the Tiger. Um, let's see. Um, 
Chris, I just heard as well. Nine of Swords and the Six of Swords. I feel like this person, sometimes they act like they don't know what to do. I feel like sometimes they are very mature, very wise, um, very much wanting to do the right thing. And uh, they have this other side of them that like just kind of acts more childish, like they just don't know what they're doing. So I feel like this person has probably given you a lot of mixed signals, just like we had two cards that came out uh, for your cover card. Um Almost, like I'm getting Gemini here because I like I'm getting the two sides look here's a two as well two of wands so I feel like this person very much wants you but like they also have like other plans other ambitions for their life as well um you guys could be a long distance connection here that that's what could be complicating things yeah the eight of eight of cups knight of wands two of or two of wands that definitely seems like some kind of long distance connection but I feel like um, I feel like this is kind of a mixed bag here where some of you guys are in a more serious relationship or heading towards something serious. Others of you are maybe not in contact with this person. So we'll just see what comes through for most of you. Um, I feel like this person, this connection actually really gets this person very stirred up inside. Yeah, this is the nine. Yeah, this is the nine of swords. Um, and I feel like they really like their mental piece here. This is another long distance card, by the way, the six of swords. So, um, this person's really trying to like figure out a solution, like what will work between you two. But I feel like things got kind of like complicated, complex between you two. So that that has caused them to maybe just try to sit and think about things, think through things. So I feel like they're trying to figure things out, trying to think through things, trying to find a solution. Um, I see this person's very highly attracted to you very much um, loves being in your presence. So I feel like right now they don't have like a lot of plans. I feel like they just want to kind of see how things go. Um, but the Hierophant did come out first. So I feel like there is a level of commitment or they are just trying to do the right thing with you. If you guys aren't really um, in that kind of a position yet, they are trying to treat you with respect. They are, they want to do, they want to do right by you. Um, so they could be like religious or they just have like a, um, they're very principled, let me get what is their primary intention towards you, number four. I definitely feel like this person wants to see you again um, with the Ace of Wands here. They want to spark something up. So I feel like they want to talk to you, see you, just be in your presence. They make you laugh, entertain you in some way. Okay, here is the Hermit. Spiritual mastery, soul searching is the big thing that's standing out to me here. Enlightenment, guiding light. So I feel like you have been such a light for this person that they, you really made them start taking more solitude and co like contemplating their life. I feel like they've done a lot of growing since they have known you. Um, let's see here. Of course, this is Virgo coming through here. Mercury and Saturn. So I feel like you made their thoughts get like really serious. I feel like this person has been like, was like maybe really party time before you came into their life. And they, they've been going into like a hermit phase. So with the hermit here, um, as their primary intention to me, this shows that they, they do want to keep to themselves right now. They don't really want to open up and share more with you, but I feel like you've given them a lot to think about. They're really contemplating the situation. So for those of you guys who are in contact with this person, maybe in a relationship with them, they just want some time to themselves. They need to think over something, but in a very peaceful way, because they want a peaceful outcome. They're not trying to be selfish here, trying to get away from you, trying to escape from you. They're just like genuinely trying to do the right thing here. And if you guys just aren't with this person, I feel like, yeah, they, they intend to keep themselves right now maybe keep the door shut for right now but it doesn't mean forever because I'm just getting like this ace of wands there's like a fire that's still burning here for you all right let's see here you made the I feel like you made this person feel a lot as well with all these uh, cups just all over the place okay here's inner voice wow the hermit inner voice this four of swords wishing well. I feel like this person is always wishing you well, like almost like praying for you, praying about you, maybe praying to figure out what should they do in this connection. They could be like listening for answers here. What do I do next? What do I do in my life? They're trying to, I feel like they're trying to live a life um, like on the, the lighted path, like they're trying to live in the light. So this time to themselves, they really have been developing more of their inner voice because they're not listening to all the voices around them, everyone that's like pulling at them with their emotional needs. They've had enough of that. They're finally like able to fulfill their emotional needs. Okay, here's the throat chakra or blue base chakra. Wow, matching colors here. It's interesting. And then we have truth, judgment. Okay, so... 
this person, I feel like they listen to their body a lot too. Um, they really listen to what feels right in their body. Um, I, I just, f I feel like they, they want to, I feel like there's something that was like left unsaid between you two that they're still trying to understand something that's like just really rooted in their memories. You guys could have, um, past lives together where the memories are like in, in their body. Um, and like those memories are kind of like coming up to the surface for them. So they're getting some like conscious realization of them or just understanding the truth of just like you guys, your souls know each other. They've known each other before, even if they're not having like actual memories come up, like specific memories. Okay. Here is sextile opportunity. So, um, this is a harmonious aspect in astrology or like signs that are two signs apart. So for example, like cancer and Virgo or Aries and Gemini, um, collaborates is on this card as well so I see like this artistic opportunity maybe this person wants to create some kind of artwork with you create some kind of music with you uh, start a business with you just um, I feel like you've also brought a lot of inspiration to this person I feel like yeah you got to them at like the deepest level um, like yeah I feel like you really like struck them to their core and this is like coming out in their work in whatever they do in their creations um, in like like if they sing or something like that it's um like the way you affected them it, it's like it actually comes out of them they express that like they carry like something about your energy or something you activated in them they carry that with them and it comes out of them now they like express your energy now as well it's interesting and maybe you do the same with them so yeah two things about voice here so this person might really like your voice or they're remembering your voice. They maybe kind of like they in a way hear your voice in their head. Um, here's kindred partnership. So yeah, with this sextile here, kindred partnership, this person feels um, definitely feels that harmony with you feels feels that beauty with you definitely knows that you are a soulmate that you guys like are really um, kind of like cut from the same cloth. We also have loss here on the bottom of the deck. So long distance cup coming through. So this also looks like a long distance card where they feel like maybe um, this connection just wasn't meant to work out at the moment because um, because there, there were too many obstacles here. So yeah, I feel like they were at least trying to let go for a time and just try to think over things. Maybe they're trying to figure out a solution here. Okay, and then we have will, expression, assertiveness, self-control, and direction. So I do get that this person is um, very stubborn. We have dreams here as well. So I feel like this person has like a lot of vivid dreams uh, or they really have like a lot of will, willpower to apply to the dreams that they do have, um, like visions for their life. So I feel like there's something that they're making very slow progress toward right now. Um, something that maybe stopped them from being able to um, like continue to pursue this connection or go deeper, get closer, take the next step, something like that. Um, for those of you who are, you're working on a relationship with this person or things seem pretty good, I, I see this card also as someone who's willing to take their time with you and they're going to be very stubborn and they're going to make things work with you no matter what is between you two. Um, for those of you who you're not really with this person. You guys haven't really been talking with them. I do see them as just like very, very slow, like where it would just take them so long to maybe like speak up and tell the truth of what you really, how you really, really affected them. I feel like they like to keep a lot of things to themselves, that like as just their own private experiences. Okay. What other details do we have here? Yep. Look at that. Here's the hermit again. So to confirm that coming through um, with the four of wands and the six of wands. So I feel like this person has um, kind of like an introverted and an extroverted side for sure, where maybe the, the face that they show the world is more like this knight of wands character, very fun, very like confident, fiery, but they are like someone who really kind of really dwells on things, overthinks things. I feel like they do um, pray a lot. You know, they, they do have a connection to God, to the divine. I feel like maybe you guys help spark this up in them again as well. Maybe they've lost it a bit. 
Here's the star. So you really stand out to this person. You're definitely like one in a billion to this person. And here's the king of swords along with the 10 of cups. All right. So with the, the kindred partnership card here, this is saying like this person definitely sees and knows the truth that you guys would be amazing together. You'd be very, very, very happy together. Um, but I feel they're seeing like it just doesn't make sense right now or they, they can't like logically see how it could happen at the moment. Um, so that that's why they keep their guard up with you. They don't communicate all of this to you. I feel like a lot of them kind of have their life planned out in this like slow and plotting way and they they just like won't deviate from the course even though I feel like um, the universe really threw them a curveball with you and I feel like it was very surprising to meet you just like it was for you surprising to meet them. Okay and here's the five of pentacles with the four of pentacles. This person doesn't feel completely stable and ready to move forward in their life just yet to be able to make this happy family, happy partnership with someone. And here's the seven of swords. I feel they do all, they spend a lot of energy trying to hide their insecurities because again, they come across as someone very, very confident, very successful, very talented, very funny, happy, just like, I don't care kind of thing, but they have a lot of insecurities. Um, maybe they really feel like they're failing at something or just some fears of loss. And, um, this is something they very much keep hidden. So let's see anything else we need to know about this before we get some more Oracle cards here. Here is strength. Um, I feel like this person wanted to talk a lot more with you. They wanted to open up a lot more with you. Um, you were someone who they actually felt like they could maybe come clean with. They could open up more with um, compared to anyone else in their life. So I feel like that's how one of the ways they recognize you, you as someone very special, very unique, is that they actually felt very drawn and encouraged, very drawn to you, very encouraged to open up with you. But I feel like they didn't, they still didn't really open up enough. I feel like they were very tempted to open up more with you to kind of like tell you just like how highly they thought of you, just like how much they could see like really being in love with you, really loving you. If you guys hadn't had a chance, I feel like they really wanted to tell you that you're just like perfect, perfect, perfect as you are. Okay. Wow. Okay. Here's the diamond ring coming through proposal, engagement, agreement, next level, promise, partnership, statement of intent, marriage, and union. Okay. So for those of you guys who you feel like there is something progressing here that you guys like, are in communication, I feel like they could be very much pondering. You know, we have all this pondering and very much getting serious, going within, praying. They could be praying about like, is this right? Should we move forward to the next level? But I feel like they are in that position of being serious about um, making some kind of commitment to you. The Hierophant did come out first, which can be a commitment. Um, and for those of you, th there's no communication here. This is saying like, it's possible. Um, I, cause I don't want to like say it could never happen here. That's for sure. Cause there is like a connection. There's something nice here. Um, so possibly, um, this could be something that is very much an opportunity in, yeah, we have the sextile opportunity in your lifetimes. Maybe it wasn't like set in stone, like that it could happen for sure, for sure, for sure. But I feel like it was definitely like the connection between you two was a um, window of opportunity for you guys to get together, to take the next step. And there could be another opportunity in the future. But um, if you guys just really, if they're not like, you know, making their intentions known, if they're not coming forward, they're not talking to you, don't put all your eggs in one basket with this person unless you just really feel like, um, I don't really want to, I'm just not interested in anyone else. Because, of course, that's your right to just, you know, stay stay on your own and not look for anyone else as well. There's nothing wrong with that if that's what you feel is truly um, good for you, truly feels good. 
But um, this diamond ring coming up too, I feel um, like if you guys are kind of done with this connection, you guys have moved on. I feel like this this is confirming that you guys have maybe been married in many different past lifetimes. And I feel like if you have been in many lifetimes together, you've always been married. You've always or have been like romantic partners. You've never really been like um, just friends or family or something. I feel like it's always been like um, like spouses. Oh, wow. And here is rainbow wish granted serendipity blessing patience pays off abundance, hope, good luck. So you guys patience again, promise patience on here twice. Godsend. Oh my gosh. Um, manifesting wealth, prosperity, perfect timing. So there's a lot of amazing words on this card. And I think I read pretty much all of them on here as well. So, um, for a lot of you, this is like God's promise coming through that you do have like a shining person for you. You do have someone that wants to commit to you if you don't have that yet. Maybe you guys already found that with someone and that was um, like, if this didn't work out with this person, um, it, I feel like there there is this other partner who was like stepping in because like, I feel like this was just maybe an opportunity with this person and this person didn't like jump into it right away with you. Um because I feel like they were too like set in their ways or too stuck on something else. So I feel like there was someone else or there is someone else coming in if you don't have them yet to um, like be that like same kind of kindred spirit for you and to like commit to you to be with you. Because I feel like in this person's heart, um, they really do feel like that loving like family type bond with you. But I feel like they're very stubborn and they they just can't can't see past all the obstacles. And here's love. All right. So wow. So love is promised to you guys. Like I feel like in this lifetime, love is promised to you. I feel like a lot of you guys already have it with someone, like a partnership. And I feel like this could be confirming that um, this person does have a lot of love in their heart for you um, through the through the lifetimes. Like that hasn't died. Um, you did activate this person, but yeah, the love is still there despite the obstacles. So I feel like there, there's just are, there is like just so much that was like put in the way between you two. And uh, because um, I just feel like this is a very powerful connection and there was like some kind of um, like, I don't know. It's just like, there was only like maybe a chance of it working out in this lifetime rather than like for sure, for sure it's going to happen. But like never say never because I feel like there could be like a change of events, a turn of events where this person um, is able to bridge some of these obstacles here. Okay, let's see here. All right, we have masculine hiding incognito, watching at a distance. So if this person has been quiet, they haven't been communicating with you. I feel like they very much are like keeping an eye on you, but they are always like not um, showing who they are. Um, they could even be watching from like um, fake social media account or something with like incognito. So they're like in disguise. Um, let's see here. This person is still very curious about you. All right, we have journey. So I am getting that for some of you. I do feel like you will be getting together like further down the road or there will be maybe another cha chance or opportunity at least to like reconnect if you guys have been apart to at least like figure things out. So this person, um, they might be like intending on making some travel plans to meet you in person. Maybe some of you guys never got to meet in person and we have all that glitters. I feel like this person had to go through a process of just realizing that they don't want everything they thought that they did. Um, they're seeing through it all. So they don't really want like the fame, the recognition, the success. Here's stay present. I feel like that's what this person's very much working on. And don't give up. We have help is on the way. I 
um, love yourself. So yeah, I feel like this is a time to definitely be present with yourself to take care of some things that have maybe um, just you feel like have gotten out of hand or out of control in your life. Um, and I feel like this is saying don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dreams. You, of course, don't have to give up on this person if you feel right to continue to um, to still go forward with this. Step out into the spotlight. Okay, so I feel like you guys are, yeah, here's balance yourself as well. I feel like you guys are really up-leveling yourself in some ways. So I feel that um, you need to take some time to maybe work on something in your life that's been neglected and... Um, especially if it's like your your health or something just to do what you can your mental emotional physical health and I feel like this is going to help rebalance you to maybe get back out there to maybe start a new career to continue on some kind of career path that maybe you had to leave behind to do uh, to put some more of your art out there um, just to feel more balanced again I feel like that's so important for you guys no matter what happens with this okay let's get a shadow message and a light message from them Um, it's easier to blame it on you. Light message. Oh, we have, um, I'm undergoing an inner transformation. Please be patient with me. Let me get another shadow message. I just want, I'm curious. I'll get another shadow and light message. Um, we have, I may run only because these deep feelings are real and scare me. So yeah, I feel like some of them could be like deceiving themselves about something. And I can be myself around you. So this person did notice this like genuine, lovely, kind of like we feel like family connection with you. Let's get a love note from them two of them I guess I long to see you so yeah I was getting that that this person wants to see you again they want to reconnect and here's do you want this so they are going to be wondering if it's been a while like do you even still want them do you want this at all and here's I want you to understand me so they might be getting the feeling like you are the only person that really does understand them um, because all these people around them are just superficial any other messages from them? Um, I feel like they're starting to develop some more trust in you. Um, I'm hiding my feelings from you. Yeah, it was interesting because we did have this like really shining love card. And then we have the king of swords here next to the, the ten of cups with the star. So definitely this person keeps a lot to themselves. They don't like to share their feelings. Um, I'm afraid of this love. And you are so special to me. And then here's, are we still friends? So that's why that that's why this person is like interested in like seeing you again, talking to you again. Because I, I feel like if you guys even have, if you haven't been talking, I feel like they still consider you a friend. I feel like they don't see anything wrong with you. Um, yeah, I, I just feel like this is just a like kind of a strange situation. Like I, I feel like there's not like a really good big reason that they're staying away from you. It's more just their own personal stuff they're going through. All right, number four, I'm going to get some just general advice and general messages for you guys to see what comes through. So you can keep watching here or you can choose another one of the readings, um, the general section, all the timestamps will be below if you feel called to another one. So let's see what comes through for you guys. Let me get the other decks out. All right, number four. Let's just see what messages come through for you. Let's get some tarot cards first. Okay, so first we have the High Priestess. We have the Five of Crystals, the Five of Wands. And we have the Hermit. And we have Judgment. I feel like a lot of you guys often struggle with your your purpose here. You, I feel like a lot of you aren't really awakened to your own power. You don't realize how powerful you are. Or um, maybe some of you guys are even kind of hiding from that power. You don't understand how to use it. Maybe some of you guys used it and, and like kind of like you didn't like the results of it. So now you've been kind of just like hiding from being out in the light again. 
let's see, from coming into your purpose and destiny, perhaps. Eight of Diamonds, this is the Eight of Pentacles here. Okay, with the Eight of Swords. I feel like some of you guys are scared to get back to work on something, um, but I feel like the message is also like, it's okay to take some quiet time and wait for divine guidance, wait for um, a gentle nudge to um, urge you to act on something, to take some kind of opportunity. Because um, I feel like there's something that's maybe being worked on behind the scenes in your life right now. So it's just important for you guys to kind of just mind your own business, do your own thing. And I feel like you will receive that inner nudge when the time is right for you to act because I feel like right now um like it just might yield like kind of frustrating results like your energies might be too scattered so I feel like this time to just like meditate go within is very important for you at the moment you guys are going to be getting some like major clarity on something seeing the past differently because I feel maybe some of you guys are still kind of struggling with arguing with the past in some ways um, but I see that um, some of you guys are going to be letting it go very soon and understanding it in a new light um, and I feel like this is going to unlock some of some more energy for you guys to make some more progress on some skills or talents that you are building here so I want to see um, what's the next big blessing coming in for you number four next big blessing some of you guys really do struggle with your hermit nature is what I'm feeling here like maybe you feel like you shouldn't spend so much time by yourself but I'm getting like it's important for your soul Okay, next big blessing proposal. Wow. So we, if you guys are still watching from um, number four, there was that like um, there was some like beautiful divine promise of like something um, very special, meaningful, like a loving, supportive partner there for you. So um, or if you guys are already happy with someone, um, this could also mean a, like a business proposal, some kind of opportunity. So I do feel like it is important for you guys to settle within yourself, center within yourself, and the right opportunity is going to um, present itself to you in time. And um, in the meantime, it's important for you guys just to keep practicing and whatever you need to do, maybe building some new habits, perfecting some habits. And I feel like something interesting is going to show up out of the blue for you. This could also be just like a nice invitation, like maybe an invitation to travel, um, to speak, to perform. Okay. Ooh, nice. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. So, um, yeah, I see like a really great partnering here. A romantic, platonic business. Okay, let's see what else. So I'm getting like things will work out smoothly and peacefully if you guys don't try to push too much right now. And yeah, look at this more contemplation, just finding peace and ease, sun in Pisces, higher purpose, align yourself with love and wisdom. So I feel like this is your job right now, aligning yourself with love and wisdom, not with the struggle, with the just trying to force things to happen, um, because then I feel like that's going to like start the new chapter of your life. That's going to click something new into place if you guys um, just... I feel like some of you guys, it might help to like pray, to be led to your higher calling, your higher purpose here. Cause I feel like maybe some of you guys are feeling lost in that sense. Oftentimes you don't need to do a lot to find your purpose. It just kind of like finds you, you are usually have the awareness within you of everything you need to do. I feel like, um, there's a lot less we need to do, um, in our life than we think, um, it's okay to not be acting and doing all the time because a lot of that just leads to frustrating, fruitless results. And it's better to just take less action, less, more, uh, um, more effective and guided action rather than a lot of action that is just like coming from fear and busyness, like the sense of needing to be busy. Because when you have like guided action um, after like some contemplation and meditation, soul searching, that's what allows you to build and become a master rather than like just trying to be busy for the sake of being busy and then like not really getting anywhere except just frustrated and losing a bunch of energy. Um, okay. And this is, let's see, what is this in this deck? Hold on one second, you guys. Um, it, okay. So we have... 12 here so this must be the hanging man we have the the sword and the stone brilliant ideas that may need refinement 
overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out communicate clearly and concisely remain objective so i was thinking maybe this was the um page of swords as well this could be the page of swords i don't know why this 12 is here exactly um yeah overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out so i feel like a lot of this frustration you've gone through it will serve a higher purpose it is going to give you a lot more clarity a lot more insight um, into who you are meant to be in this lifetime what you're meant to do so um, i feel like this time right now we have the queen of cups showing up it is to help um you find more emotional peace and peace and balance I feel like that's really important for you guys to find and to master like emotional mastery before moving forward too much in your life. Um, maybe working um, to, to find some habits to improve your physical health as well. And we have apricot, rejoice and laugh. So it looks like this is like some of the medicine for you is to bring some more laughter into your life. It looks like things have gotten quite serious in your life. I do feel like a lot of seriousness, contemplation here for sure. So bringing some light and fun and joy to your life in whatever ways you can will be good medicine for you. All right, got some pre-shuffled cards here. So we have luck coming out first. You are right to be strong and opti optimistic about the opportunities ahead. And then we also have thorns here. Weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. I feel like you guys um, have a lot of protection around you just where pretty much anything situation you'll get into, I feel like you guys are protected, so strongly protected here. And then we have Leo. The energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud, and passionate. It focuses on the importance of self-belief. So I feel like you guys really need, do need to work on restoring some of your self-belief. I feel like you have lost some of it probably from going through some of these very difficult challenges. Um, I feel like it's important for you guys to think back on some of the very, the times you felt really lucky in your life, very blessed. Um, that will help you maybe restore some faith and confidence in yourself and in life. Feel like it's really important for you guys to find faith in uh, in life again, in life and God. So I got some other pre-shuffled cards here from the Mother Mary Oracle. You guys got our lady of charity number 44 so it says i call upon my strongest children to aid those in need so this is very interesting this this is coming through you guys got leo here you know like the king <laughs> um so uh the queen of cups is also coming through there's a lot of royalty coming through so i feel like this this is saying like you guys are one of the strongest um people on the planet um like especially like give a very strong energy very strong spiritually you might have a lot of um spiritual development a lot of soul development and um since you are one of those strongest um divine children on the planet this says i will empower your purpose and act through you so the divine is wanting to work through you and with you um they don't want to force anything on you um so but i feel like you just like that means you can worry less about what you're doing here um God, the divine is going to help guide you. So it's so important to get in touch with that inner light, the inner truth, the heart. It says, my powers are vast enough to keep you safe and protected no matter where you may be. Fear not and maintain your focus on me. I shall guide you, my beloved. So maybe some of you guys have really wanted to help people, uh, maybe even start a charity or something. And I feel like you definitely have divine support for that. Um, or maybe you're worried that whatever work you want to do, it's not going to help people enough. Um, and you really do care a lot about helping others. Um, but I feel like whatever you do is really going to like help others a lot, bring more light to the world here. Here. And it's really important to bring light to yourself keep laughing okay and then from the saints and mystics deck you guys got saint martha authority so this is incredible because you guys got leo the lion with these luck and the thorns i feel like you guys can go through so much hardship and struggle and still come out stronger than ever i mean look she has she has like four arms in this card so um that means like you guys can do more i feel like you can do more than the average person you can accomplish more than the average person for sure um so one interesting thing from saint martha here was that um 
she battled a dragon <laughs> in the mountains of France. This cements her connection to divine magic and why her visage is called upon in matters of taming, undoing, or dominating strong forces that battle against us in life. So I feel like you guys have like the spiritual connection to um, like a big power source that will help you um, dismantle the darkness um, that is that maybe has been trying to keep you down, try to keep you from your purpose. So you guys don't have to fear any of the darkness ahead. Um, you will be protected. You will get through it. So anything else from here? I think that was it from here. Just that you guys just have way more strength than you think. All right. So I think that's all I have for you here at number four. Hope this helped you. Hope I get to see you soon, either on the next video or on one of um, the past videos. I, ha I usually have playlists linked below. Um, the deck should be all listed below in the description, including this lovely gentle heart tarot from um, Bow Life. Link to their shop will be linked below with a discount code. And any of the pretty much any of the links in the description um, do help to support my channel in some way. Um, but you guys just being here, watching videos, liking the videos, just offering support that helps so much too. So thank you guys so much. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.